Good morning, jewelry makers. How are we all? Ah, oh, brand new week. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. And guess, guess what else is beautiful in my line of sight? I've got lovely Linda Brumwell today. Good morning. That was a lovely introduction. Thank well, you, Elle. Well, deserving. And oh, it's only just dawned on me, this is the first time I've seen you since Cyprus. So we've had a little chat about your holiday, haven't we? Yeah, we certainly have. Yeah, the snakes, the lizards and the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I'm over it. And then I came yeah. back to more heat. Yeah, yeah. When did you come back? I've not got a clue. Oh. It must be about 10 days, two weeks ago. You always have that period after a holiday where you yeah. don't know what's going on. Yeah, totally. Like, where I am I? I don't know what's going on most of the time. But, you know. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to be doing? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so though Linda was instructed while she was away, don't go down into that sort of uh, woodland area because there's lots of snakes. So, and then it played on your mind, didn't it, for the duration? <laughs> Oh dear, bless you. Totally, yeah. I don't do snakes, I'm afraid. No, I, I don't. Know, I know some people love them, but yeah, mm. I'm not that keen. I'm not that keen on snakes either. Mm. They are quite scary. Anyway, we won't anyway. talk about snakes because she right. said she's over it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bringing it all back, aren't I? Yeah, what have we are. got planned for you uh, this Monday? I'm really excited about today's show. We've got gadgets. We've got jewels. We've got amazing pieces of jewelry got the most amazing masterclass projects <gasps> the first thing i said to our linda other than good morning how are you was oh my goodness me your projects are absolutely stunning That's before we even got in the building it, well, it actually was wasn't it as mm -hmm. we, we were walking across the car park now we all know the situation with pearls right we all know that pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now never been more un unobtainable than they are right now and yet your masterclass they are huge and they are full of luster. This is at 12 o'clock, right? 12 o'clock. Your jewellery is incredible. Oh, thank you. Absolutely incredible. The masterclass. Um, how many do we have of those, Roscoe? Because I, I am asking for my own personal benefit. 90! Have we really? I was expecting him to say something like 30. Yeah. Because they're so mm. difficult to get hold of now, yep. Pearls. Um, <clears throat> amazing. So, and they go into a true jewellery maker price point. Never mind what's going on outside these four walls in the price points of, of pearls. We are still currently, because I can't say indefinitely, able to bring them to you. The finest pearls at affordable prices. So that's at 12 o'clock. What about, what about your nine o'clock projects? The nine o'clock projects Full of colour. Are let's say a bit different to what I normally are, uh, am sent uh, and I love them. There's, there's so, so much they're so creativity summery. there yeah. if you find it. You know? yeah. yeah, well if you want bucket loads of beads yeah. then definitely your nine o'clock projects. I love that necklace, the multicoloured necklace, that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh and the blue one. They're amazing. De de definitely giving me summer holiday vibes those. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. It's. I think so. I was watching Glastonbury over the weekend and uh, I sort of got in that boho sort of um, ethos really. And, but with sea breeze, you can do that. You definitely can. We're yeah. going to be seeing Linda in Coachella attire, aren't we, for the next, uh, <laughs> with the cut off shorts, yeah, aren't you, and big floppy pants. Get me Shania Twain. Get, get, oh, was she, was she headlining at Glastonbury, was she? Yeah, yeah. Was she? Yeah. Was she? See, yeah. I'm so out of date. She was amazing. Was she? Really, really amazing. I did hear, I, saw, I think I saw it on Facebook somewhere, that actually the most karaoke song in the world is, man, I feel like mm -hmm. a woman. That's right, yeah. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Which I, I would have thought it would have been something like, um, I don't know, I don't know, maybe a Neil Diamond song yes, or Dolly Parton or, or something like that. Yeah. But no, Shania yeah. Twain. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Yeah. Shania Twain. Um, now let's talk about your deal of the day, which is not out on the desk. It's on my wrist. <laughs> and I've already spoken. I've already spoken to Ross about this. I was like, Ross, I'm 100% buying some of these during the deal of the day. Um, Ross is saying I might be joining you. Oh, ah, ah, oh, oh, Ollie's, Ollie is buying one too. Now we launched something similar in your Burmese jadeite. They sold out, flew out, of which I bought. And I bought with good intention of gifting it to my lovely niece. She didn't get it because <laughs> I ended up keeping it. Okay. Um, so I won't make the same mistake. I will actually get more than one. Um, we all, we're all in the consensus that it really suits the old mech. 
really suits the arm make that beautiful intense the contrast with the purple thread and it's on a slider bracelet there as well so one size fits all but look at that that's beautiful look at that it's amazing isn't it and of course the high goo the meaning of the actual high goo itself um believed to be protective so great gift if you're giving it to your loved ones um this is coming up at 10 o'clock we've got 200 of those i know believe me i've looked into all of this because i want to buy some that's <laughs> genuinely i know i've seen the price ollie it's amazing isn't it yeah affordable that's why i'm thinking of multiples i think also it's very um wearable for a man isn't it yeah as well yeah yeah i'm hoping that lauren's not expecting me to take this off <laughs> i'm hoping lauren's like ah oh, sorry Lauren. before she leaves lauren. It's, it, it's it's stuck on my wrist look i can't <laughs> oh, i can't, can't, I get, can't it get it off sorry sorry lauren yeah this it's stuck honest um, so that's your 10 o'clock jewellery makers. Your early bird this morning, we've already had a little go of this, a little test, mm -hmm. is these wonderful contraptions that you can see on the front of the desk. These are vacuum cleaners. So what you can do, you know sometimes when you have spillages, spillages of your beads down, I'm not talking about your milk. Um, they're in item number one and two. Um, so if you spill your seed beads and they go everywhere, um, or you're just cleaning up after a project, get your vacuum. You attach your nozzle. I'll show you this when it gets to it. And look. And you hoover it all up. I will show you it in action. You've got brushes here to sweep them all together. Can you hear, can you hear I've had a go at it already? There's sea beads in there. Um, and then you use your little brush to get them out of the actual sort of dish at the end of it. So that's coming up it's in this hour. You can choose your colourway as well, jewellery makers. Um, we've got so much more in and around today's show as well. As always, get your messages into the studio. We would love to hear from you this glorious Monday morning. Shall we, shall we get cracking? You've already set this at the prices. Okay, right, quick before they sell out, says Ross. Black obsidian, a genuine natural gemstone. Uh -huh. It's a long time since we've seen black obsidian, it is. isn't it? Linda? That is stunning. Look at the price. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is what Ross does as the start of a show. It's become his signature, you know. Well done, I think it's already sold out. Well done. He always starts the show with a pound. Always. It's become his little signature auction. There you go. How about this? Bit of sunshine, lemon quartz. Oh. It's a pound. Again, when was the last time we saw lemon, lemon quartz? quartz? Ollie's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ollie, Ollie, this is what he does. He does it every show. What the, exactly exactly <laughs> starts every show with one pound deals that's why our lovely audience know to get up and get up and at it make sure you get back yourself some amazing gemstones nice and early how about some beautiful opal jewelry makers in a rose cut cabochon so faceted mm. <clears throat> it's a pound one mm. pound oh look at that linear white you also get a little container i know it's a minor detail but still that's surely worth a pound Surely worth a pound. <laughs> it's a, for four beautiful, hang on a minute. Now I am useless at maths, but Ross, that's 25p each. If you include the box, it's 20. Yeah, you can't get a, you can't get a Freddo for 20p these days, can you? You can't get a carrier bag for that some, in some that's places. That's true, they're 60p. Yeah. That's true. Ross, Ross. Your supermarket shopping bags are more than that. Yeah, which I begrudge. I really begrudge. Um, well done, everybody. Anna in Cambridge, Rachel, Joanne, Linda, Margaret, Gillian, Jill, Josephine. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, how many do we have of these, Roscoe? Only two, so you're going to be quick. They've gone. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Um, right then, coming up on today's show, it's all about your bead vacuums. They are in items number one and two on the website, so take a little look, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Click watch live, scroll down, and you'll see all the items in the eight o'clock hour. Um, so remember, they do time out as well come nine o'clock, so make sure you're checking out your baskets. You can always combine your order, um, and it's one post and packaging all day. Then at nine o'clock, it's about your multi strand. Um, and meter strands, all those visions of colours um, in Linda's amazing projects. Um, 
that's nice lauren sorry lauren's just put a fan on me our aircon's not working again um thanks lauren oh that's lovely thanks lauren oh do i sound like a diva <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's not, not spamming me. There is like a fan. <laughs> there is like a fan there. Palm leaf. I keep getting hot. I keep getting hot. It must be my age, you know, because I'm getting so hot all the time. Um, anyway, back to, you don't need to talk about that. Uh, 10 o'clock is about this amazing high goo bracelet jewellery makers. We've got 200 of those. It's done, dusted. If you want to reconfigure it, you can, but I think it's perfection as is. And it is going to the most affordable price tag. If you're thinking, oh, hang on a minute, it's all make jadeite, the mine's closed, that's going to be expensive. We're going to prove you wrong. Um, so that's your deal of the day. 11 a.m., we've got um, lots of your sterling silver essentials, which always fly because we absolutely need essentials. Things like bolt ring clasps, spacers. I think I can spot some... Um, wire guardians as well so um yeah a few of your essentials which we always need to make the pieces of jewelry and then at 12 o'clock it is those utterly divine baroque pearls um something that ross wants to reference oh yeah um we did launch a selection of what a selection of quartzite jade yes we did launch it one strand was not in that launch was it because it hadn't landed you think it was just missed, okay. Now, it's too beautiful not to bring to air. Check out this amazing, natural, the newest variety of jade, quartzite jade. The biggest carat weight of the entire parcel, bigger than any of the strands that Dave brought you on that launch, 320 carats in that amazing drum shape. When we think about you know, the Kotan uh, necklace that we often reference on first dibs. That's, I can't remember how much that is, Ross. How much is that one? Nine, they talk about 90 grand, don't they? Or something like that on average. Um, we're bringing you the newest variety of jade, not our words. Uh, newest variety of jade. Um, and, and currently, currently we can do it at an affordable price tag. So jewelry makers, this is coming up within your show as well. We have also got all of the last stock from that showcase so we're going to be bringing those to air as well so it's going to be amazing it's going to be such an exciting um such an exciting monday another item that is set at the price is this gorgeous chain that lauren's just passed in look you've got a meter long length um it's not just one. Oh, lauren should be two uh lauren okay. this is the figure of figure of figure of figure have you got it have you got it she's got it she's on it She's on it. There you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Lauren. Thank you. Here we go. I like a Figaro as well. Because you've got to sing it, haven't you? You've got to sing it. Figaro, 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 Figaro. A metre of each. Yeah, beautiful. Straight down to that price tag, jewellery makers. Two metres of chain in total. You haven't got to choose the link. We're going to bring the price on screen, then it's going to be a minute because it's embarrassing, says Ross. Are you ready? Are you embarrassed, Ross? Ashamed, he says. I'm actually ashamed. Giving it away, he says. Silver plated, that's £3 for a metre. £5.99 pence for two metres of precious metal plated. You go to Misoma and you might be thinking, oh, hell, Misoma prices. I know they're very expensive, Misoma. They're all silver plated. Well, not all, but most. They do silver plated jewellery. They just don't advertise it as plated. They don't, they, they don't, uh, they, they, well, they don't, might say silver plated. Um, I looked at a bracelet once and it was like £600. I wasn't going to buy it, obviously. £600 and it was like, um, and that was base metal. It was base metal at £600. You're getting silver plated base metal for £5.99 today. Have we got many of these then, Roscoe? 20. But you're on it. Oh, uh, everyone see. I love working Monday mornings. I think Mondays, it's like it's a brand new chapter, isn't it? Very exciting. You get some. The shows also. Oh, yeah, it's a brand new month. The shows also tend to be wicked on a Monday morning. Um, yeah, happy 1st of July, everybody. 
my eldest Willow came came into this. Uh, I came. I actually saw her. She's normally in bed, but she, I actually saw her this morning. She comes in. And she looks like a caveman when she wakes up, Willow, because she's, she's got curly hair. And it's just this mass. And she's like, "Mummy, it's 23 days until my birthday." <laughs> That's why she first of July. She's been waiting for it. She could actually say it's her birth, birthday month. Um, happy first of July! Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Have I got to meet a strand of Amazonite? Do I? Oh, I do, Ross. These would be lovely with Linda's projects. A metre of Amazonite. You know what we've been saying about Amazonite jewellery makers? We believe that 2024 stroke 2025 is the year for this gemstone. Um, with Louis Vuitton. Yes, I was just about to say it's become very, very popular with the designer brands. Yeah, big designer very, brands. Yeah. Louis Vuitton have announced they're incorporating Amazonite into their jewellery pieces, which, by the way, is just a casual 30 grand if you want that. Um, yeah, we've got uh, David Yerman, of course, incorporating it. You've got Irene Newis using Amazonite in her pieces of jewellery, and rightfully so. Here's a, a stunning natural gemstone um, that exudes... For me, similar beauties to what you find in things like your Pareba Tourmaline, currently at a fraction of price, unless, of course, you go to Louis Vuitton. Um, this is a natural gem. Again, we've been, we kind of saw that, that like a shift in popularity and all of a sudden it was everywhere. It does mean there's challenges for us to continue to bring it to you at an affordable price tag. Um, we're okay at the moment, but every time we bring Amazonite to where it goes, it disappears in a heartbeat. A full meter strand for 49 pounds and 99 pence. Wow. We are no way near though, jewelry makers. This will be lovely with Linda's projects, both in the nine o'clock and in the 12 o'clock. I've only got 17 available. Watch the phone lines go into meltdown, says Roscoe. Oh yeah, can you imagine this with your Brock Pearls at 12? That's a bit of me, that is. What? What? It's a meter. Wow. Ross, it's a meter. Wow. A meter of natural Amazonite for 9 99 What are you doing? Uh, what, what are we doing? 250 solitaires, two Marlas, yeah, good maths there, Ollie. I mean, you could do your Capriccio bracelet that Deb's demonstrated the other day. You, oh my goodness me, how on earth are we anywhere near that price tag? You know, we have shown, Monica Venade has always been a massive advocator of um, your Amazonite. Um, Harrods, Harrods, pop along to Harrods, just for kicks. And it's the same sort of color palette. If you wanna get a simple sterling silver Amazonite bracelet, because these aren't sort of yeah you think amazonite most of us think about the blues but it shows you can actually get lovely earthy tones topes sort of uh, um almost like lemony colors as well but look 290 pounds for that bracelet jewelry makers you're getting a meter of that same amazing gemstone an actual better quality as well i will say um and a tenner from us it's on the verge of selling out well done janet five christina anna paula marishka Gillian, Tina, Alan, Joanne, Margaret. I've only got four left though, jewellery makers. You need to be quick if you've got it in your baskets. Four left and once they're gone, they're gone. It's so difficult to get hold of Amazonite. Amazonite and Neon Appetite are the two gemstones we believe. 2025, you might not see. Well, that's what we believe anyway, don't we, Roscoe? Um, we've been talking, we've been very open about that. Right, strawberry quartz, ooh, mm. or sargonetic quartz. Eight millimeter faceted rounds. Got to go straight to the neckline, strawberry quartz. Look at that. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And again, it's totally natural. Beautiful. Little tiny pips that naturally occur within this gemstone <coughs> is what produces uh, the lovely pink color. Once upon a time, we used to say that quartz doesn't form in red. It does, but very rarely. Um, the tiny hematite inclusions. Now, when we first launched it, round about this price point that you're about to see. Yeah, well, and that's an amazing price point. You gotta remember we showed specimens, non-faceted non specimens, didn't we? A little, uh, yeah, yeah. That were like thousands sold at auction. You know, that's the reality. Like this one here. Um, uh, granted it's got a cat's eye, but again, that red color's natural. Strawberry quartz sold in 2006 for 1,135 pounds. Do you wanna see another one? There you go. One specimen, not even faceted, sold in 2009 for £2,404. See the little inclusions? Do you want to see another one? 
Here we go. Rare quartz with hematite inclusion, strawberry quartz, sold for £2,003 in 2011. Do you want to see another one? There you go. Superb, rare, fantastic strawberry quartz crystal from Mexico. It's not massive. Look, 8.3 centimetres. Only one available. £6,688.39, which I think is the most random price ever. But... <laughs> um, but it's the same gemstone that you are looking at right now and it's not even lacking it's not lacking in color it's not lacking in those hematite inclusions so it commands a high price tag so therefore 79.99 is i think more than reasonable would we all agree Definitely. plus these are workable for us as jewelry makers pop along to christie's one of the largest auction houses in the world look at that it's not as good a color actually but beautifully carved or a high goo you can see here uh, this material we carve for our clients in Hong Kong we've acquired rough from Brazil and we occasionally make jewelry but because of the cost of the rough as it is depleted oh I didn't know that it is usually set into platinum so a strawberry quartz is depleted or for or it might be from that location either way it's rare it's very 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 rare um, so we rarely see it in finished pieces jewelry we're at 79.99 it's a full length strand when we first had it they were much shorter in fact they're about half half the length that we uh we see on our screens right now 38 centimeters these are faceted rounds as well i mean they've got that wonderful it is like strawberry jam beautiful little pips that's the sargonetic inclusions in this case of course hematite that produces that lovely color how many do you have roscoe nine available that's how rare it is jewelry makers we are talking about you know the reality is if we were to go into our into our vault this will probably be up there with some of the rarest gemstones that we actually have. Don't be fooled by the name quartz. Quartz is a family. Quartz is a gem. Sorry, quartz as a mineral is not rare. Quartz as a gemstone can be especially rare, particularly strawberry quartz. In fact, I would go as far as saying probably strawberry quartz is one of the rarest of all um, your quartz family. £19, that's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. It shouldn't be anywhere near that price tag. For a full 38 centimetre strand, 170 carats of natural red strawberry quartz. Worthwhile jewellery makers um, getting your certificate of authenticity. I think it still only costs 25p um, because that will show that it's natural, will show that it's gen, it's, you know, it has actually been Gem Lab certified jewellery makers. So definitely worthwhile getting that. Um, what a deal. That's £50 back into your pocket. In your sky rocket. Karen and Fife's there, Gillian's there, Alan, you've got yours, County Tyrone, you're there as well. I only had nine. It's stunning. And it's one of those gems that I think looks lovely in the summertime, especially because the sunlight kind of really reacts with um, the hematite inclusions. Again, can I suggest this with Linda's amazing project at 12 o'clock? Um, strawberry quartz and pearls. Yes, please. Yes, please. That would be lovely. You've just seen lots of pieces, strawberry quartz pieces, fast far less a carat weight um, that sold for thousands of pounds now these should have already sold out at that price tag that's a, I don't think we could even replace it for anywhere near that price um, when we first launched it yeah they were 18 centimeter strands and they're about 80 pounds we're bringing you a full 38 centimeter strand uh, for 20 pounds purely because we're making space that's the only reason i had an email recently and uh, and russell you would have had the same saying um we're celebrating the gemporia birthday as well in um october um so we need the location within our vault as well regardless of the rarity of the gemstone do you know what we could do and, and, and i don't know it might be something that the team look at doing gems like this we could make into an amazing piece of jewelry you know like the ones you've seen at those auction houses and put it in our museum because we have a gem museum with some of the rarest gemstones. Strawberry Quartz absolutely fits that. Um, new customers, well done. Uh, Gillian wants two. I'd be quick, Gillian. We're going to hold this on air for another 30 seconds, then we're going to move on. It will go beautifully with Linda's Pearls coming up at 12 o'clock today. Um, what about also alongside your quartzite jade? We're talking real rarity here, jewellery makers. Don't be confused by the big five. The big five are not the rarest gemstones. The big five um, are marketing, effectively. And guess who walks through the door as we're just on this crazy price tag? Dun, dun, dun. It's Wayne. All right, Wayne, nothing to see you. Hi. We haven't just taken your strawberry quartz for 20 quid. It's, <laughs> he just said disgusting. Disgusting price point. <laughs> okay, let's do what? Sorry. 
the website, have a little look at the web. Yeah, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. It's super simple to shop on the web. Um, if you click watch live in the top right hand side, you'll see my face. Um, and then scroll down and here's all the deals that you can shop ahead on to. Now, just because they're like currently your bead hoovers, they're not, st they're not stopping there, they're going lower. Some are at the price, some will go lower regardless whether you check out now. Um, nothing is debited from your account until your order is ready to be shipped. Um, everybody pays the final low. Um, also, if there's anything that you want us to bring to air, drop us a message into the studio and we can do that for you. Oh, there's a nice little bundle of Neon Appetite there. Amazing. Sakura Agate Bangle. Beautiful. You've got some Carnelian Sterling Silver pieces, more Natural Appetite. Taipei Black Jadeite, casual. Um, lots of items selling out as well. So if there's anything that you want, lots of sellouts, uh, that you want us to bring to air, do. How, what is that? Seriously, white pearls for 20 quid. Taipei Jadeite carved bangle. Wow, that's a lovely lineup, Roscoe. He says, yes, yes it is. I've got great taste. I'm very good at scheduling your shows. <laughs> He's so humble is our Ross, isn't he? Mm -hmm. So humble. Um, his catch, another one of his catchphrases is, I am the best. <laughs> <laughs> right then. First time he scheduled this though, he says. Oh, third. The first two times that we're on days, was that, is that a dig? That, on days that I wasn't in? Ah, uh, okay. Is it this chain? Yeah, I was eyeing this up this morning. That's gorgeous. Do you know, I'd literally... Look at that, Linda. That's I would literally beautiful. just put that... Put a clasp Is on that there. the one that... Uh, every other one, there's a little hinge on, L. Oh, is there a hidden clasp? It's like a little hinge that you can open then. So oh! You, can... you don't even need to put a clasp... Oh, look there! Yeah. No way. Isn't that clever? How cool is that? 14.4 wow. grams of sterling silver. I've got eight left. Of course, it's been popular. That's gorgeous. I mean, seriously, why would we pay Tiffany's and Co prices when you can get the same sterling silver? Very designer. I mean, something like this would probably be about £700 at Tiffany's, I reckon, in their sterling Easily. silver collection. If not more, yeah. If not more, yeah. We're at two hundred and ninety-nine pounds. It's fourteen grams, seventeen and a half inches. And if you if you wear um, a smaller bracelet, I like bracelets to kind of fall down a little bit over the yeah. top of my hand. Um, then you can actually adjust it because that hidden clasp is on each of those links. How cool is that? We're over allocated, so make sure you are checking out your baskets. No confirmation yet, but there is enough to sell out. Two nine nine is more than a fair price. I thought that's where we were stopping. Are we nowhere near? Sorry, I, I, I am literally seeing this for the first time today, jewellery makers. I, I would have bought it, Ross. It's very me. I love chunky designs. Is that why you scheduled it? And then I, then I wasn't in. <clears throat> Still not what you're paying for 14 grams of silver. What? I would buy this, Roscoe. I'm not stopping there. How many's left? Eight. Gloria's got hers. Ollie's eyeing this up too. We're over allocated, but we need confirmations. Oh, if I was in your position right now, if I was watching at home, I'd 100% be jumping on this. Definitely. I mean, you know, there's a huge trend at the moment on layering. Yeah. And chunky jewellery as well. Yeah, layering chains. And this is the one that will be the focal point of your layers. Absolutely. Do you know what this reminds me of? Do you know the Tiffany's hardware collection? Mm -hmm. The new one? Yes, yes. It really reminds me that Beyonce has been pictured wearing. You've got the hidden fat, uh, class there as well. It really reminds me of the hardware collection, which, by the way, is so expensive. 59.99 for 14 grams. I worked on Saturday. I was with alongside Rach, and she was saying the prices of you, you, that you take silver to here at Jewelry Maker is amazing. She was like, I can't, I can't, I can't buy them for those prices. So um, I would be jumping all over this one. Judith, you've got yours. There's Gillian, there's Teresa, there's Kim, there's Maker, there's Lavinia, and there's Judith. There it is. Yeah, I always talk about this collection. It's one of the newest designs at Tiffany's and Co, and it is massive. So by the way, this is in silver, that necklace. 
3,925 pounds for well, this their... has got that sort of industrial look which yeah. is also trending but because of the two different um, links the finishing on the links it softens that industrial yeah it look does a but it's it's so it, it's such a great look I think like the hardware collection is such an amazing look um, Ross is saying why is this out in your basket you need to be checking out your basket well do you know what Roscoe I'll be getting one at the end of the hour if you can leave everything mm -hmm. if you can leave everything running I'll be grabbing one of those. Hello, Judith, saying I have this and made a necklace, bracelet, and earrings. Fab. It is fab, Judith. It's absolutely beautiful. And the fact that, see, each of these textured ones has got the hidden clasp. Um, do you want me to count them? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clasps, because they all have that hidden mechanism. So, if you imagine we're selling those individually at £10 each. It's seven pound fifty at this price tag, and then you're getting the hammered sterling silver, uh, sterling silver links as well for free. So they've all got this. Can you see? That wouldn't be seven pound fifty. I reckon about fifteen, absolutely. So can you see? They've all got that hidden mechanism. Amazing, absolutely incredible. All have that. Do you know with when we first launched a design like this, um, and and I put that actual presentation together. Um, that's what I did. I actually multi-bought on some of those links to, to link them all together. You must have read my mind. There she is, there's Beyonce, wearing the hardware. They do it in gold as well as silver. That, by the way, is tens of thousands of pounds. But you can see that industrial look. You've got Lady Gaga wearing it just there as well. She looks amazing in it, doesn't she? Um, over the blouse. So they do it in gold, they do it in silver. Who's that? Scarlett Johansson. Doesn't look like her. Doesn't, doesn't it? No. Um... What's the name again? Margot Robbie, that's it. Zoe Kravitz, all choosing the hardware collection. Uh, she's out of House of Cards, isn't she? Kate Marla, there you go. Who? Mara. Uh, no, that's um, one of the Kardashians. Yeah, Kendall Jenner, there you go. Uh, who? Anna, yeah, <laughs> from Frozen. <laughs> yeah you know you've done the role what justice if that's what you get called moving forward i don't know who she is she's in girls okay all right there you go but they're all wearing this, this design the final few of these available there's one left i'll have that one i'll have it right amazing let's do a pair of box clasps box clasps I understand if you go to silversmith school a box clasp is one of the first things that you actually learn to um, to make oh wow Didn't know so that. if I actually which it's is quite I mean, complex yeah talk about throwing you in at the deep end okay so one second I've opened these for you jewelry makers just so you can actually see how they work you've kind of got this like tongue groove can you see that there that's what you press down and you actually shove in, shove in, you know, so perfectly put. Um, and it clicks into place. It actually, this is actually a double secure box clasp because actually, can you see how it loops over? Can you see there's actually a jump ring there that you loop it over. So even if it were, highly unlikely, but even if it were actually to come loose, um, you've got that uh, um, security there of it looping. Um, they're amazing, aren't they? They're perfect for pearls these i mean it's the technology behind the original sort of what i always call a pearl clasp yeah. you know the definitive pearl clasp and the technology is has come into place with that particular i love that because you you can actually do that without any help yeah. you can find that sort of slit and um you post it, don't post you, basically? It, uh, exactly, that's a great way of it, 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 it yeah. Again, it's it, this is a traditional pearl clasp, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not saying you have to use it with pearls, no, no, but no. it is very much a traditional pearl mm -hmm. clasp. Um, you know, if you were to look at, say, I don't know, your great, great, great grandma's pearls, most likely they would yeah. probably have a, a box yeah. clasp on there. Um, we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. You've got one which is like a stardust and one which is beautifully ridged. You get both. Um, Ross is saying, I'll be honest, Al, everyone's been a little bit slow this Monday morning. The links did sell out eventually, he said, but it took a little bit of time. 
So we're going to wake you up with something. We're already at £10 per box class. There you go. I've separated it all together so you can actually see how it works. How about we take it to £5 per sterling silver box class? And then I tell you, we're still not done. Still not done. We're going to go even lower. Um, we've got collectors getting involved because you know that you're going to need it. You know, we've got bolt ring class coming up later on. We often bring you toggle class, magnetic class, um, all those different varieties. But if for me, a box clasp is that added extra, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the finishing touch, icing on the cake yeah. sort of thing. You know, if you sell your jewellery, you will get customers around who know about jewellery. Yeah. And I think I don't think you said it um, before as well, Al that the first thing you look at are the mechanics you look at that class because that's the safety totally part. it's yeah. an indication of the quality not enough people on the phone lines if we're going to do what we intend we need them to sell out we've got how many 40 okay and you get both of them as well not enough people so you need to show us on the web join us on the phone lines even if you don't press your option one as of yet and then roscoe will we're already at five pounds each five pounds per box class again just the whole mechanics of a box class is that much more involved but again that really does add to the security and ultimately the luxury and longevity of your piece of jewelry a fiver per box class good luck everyone that's ridiculous ross we should be selling one at that price shouldn't we yeah in, in fact one should be more than that shouldn't it for a box class I've brought toggles for more than what's on your screens, and a toggle isn't quite as, I don't know, complex it's not as to sort actually of create. Designer, is no, it? you know, you get both. That's four pound each. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, they I mean, should be selling out at this price tag for sure. Alan's got two. Jill's got two. Mary and Jerry's got two. Denise and Anna and Anne and Norma and Irene and Cheryl and London and new customers seven ninety nine. It's Monday morning. We get it. Some some people are, I need to be sort of like eased into their week. Um, but then you're going to miss out on deals like this, jewelry makers. Silver in Wolverhampton, uh, Jill in Highlands, Paula in Rondacun and Taff. New customers, hello Maker in Conwy. Um, we had 40. Okay, yeah, we've kind of all woken up to the idea that that's ridiculous. They are sterling silver. Um, I've got less than half the stock remaining now. Four pounds each. You know, never mind comparing outside these four walls, because I think we'd all agree that you're not going to get a box class for 7 99 not even in base metal, um, but elsewhere. But comparing with ourselves, Linda, I mean, I haven't brought a box class to wear for seven ninety nine. I don't think. No, no you I'm know? not. No, no, Singularly. I haven't seen it. And you're getting two. Yeah. You're getting two today. Amazing. Yes, it, it's a very, very um, important, put in the list of findings, as it were, the mechanics. And if you're making a necklace or a bracelet, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to require a class. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, if you can't find one, I was rummaging around yesterday looking for a class. I mean, admittedly, my jewellery uh, room really needs to be organised. <laughs> but eventually, after, what, probably three quarters of an hour, you found pushing them. back in to see what the football was doing and that you know i found it yes yeah and i think my husband thought i'd scored a goal <laughs> <laughs> she found her box class yeah. you need to stock up your stashes well, we've got the perfect show for mm -hmm. you today to do exactly that debs and i were talking about something similar actually on saturday morning you know the fact there's nothing more infuriating you know when you want to make a piece of jewelry but you don't have the findings exactly. to actually do that yeah. um they're on the verge of actually selling out now well done uh robert's got two london's got two cheryl's got Got two. Well, actually, that means you've got four, doesn't it? Because you get two within one purchase. Um, Irene's got two. Alan's got two. Anne's got two. Jill and Highlands has got three. Conway's got two. I don't blame you. What an amazing price point that is for the mechanics, you know, and the intricacy of a box class and also the peace of mind and security. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out. Don't forget your early bird as well. Your vacuum cleaner, which is a lot of fun. And it does the job as well, so I'm really excited to show you how that does, uh, how that works. Um, because you know, you know when you do this, yeah, <laughs> to pick up your beads. It's probably not the most hygienic thing to do. Um, the vacuum cleaning, uh, vacuum cleaner will sort that for you. Have I got sorry? Oh, I do. This strand's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. 
I love serpentine and we see it. I think, I think this might actually be the only strand we've got in our entire vault. There's nine available. Serpentine um, often carved by J uh, Master, Jade Master Carvers because it has got quite... Wow. Yes, yeah, stunning. It's got quite similar traits to, um, if you think about your nephrite jades in particular, quite similar traits. That beautiful deep forest green. Um, but one thing that serpentine has that jade doesn't is actually um, it's got a lovely internal chatoyancy. That's beautiful. Imagine that with the strawberry quartz. Yeah, lovely. Um, so this is the one strand that, what, Wayne did what? He always talks about the rarity of it and how difficult he does that's true yeah t how difficult it is to actually purchase so what is serpentine let's talk about that well serpentine is a deep green crystal made of hydrated magnesium silicate there's the gem bit out of the way um seldom blotched or splattered similar to a snake or serpent skin sorry linda i'm bringing it all back again aren't i <laughs> yes, um the crystals of the serpentine group have comparable bodily attributes and compar comparable forms um, frequently they appear as fine grain compounds and are hard to discern um, in a stone. Um, again, that's very gemmy, but um, I think it's really important to actually um, to mention it because it also talks about the fact that it's crystal structure, you know, fine crystal structure. That's where you get that lovely, see the silvery, um, natural silver chatoyancy that occurs in this gemstone. I probably have spoken about serpentine on air less than five times. Um, in my 12 years of presenting um, and yeah exactly it, it, it we rarely ever get hold of it this is the only strand in our business and um, the typical physical characteristics of this gemstone are its greenish color enhanced appearance and light texture it recalls the viewers of a snake from which its name was rooted from serpentine's translucent subtlety slippery brightness ease of shaping and ability to achieve a polish are highly renowned it is a familiar gem, construction element, and ornamental material with these characteristics. Like I said earlier on, it is quite frequently actually um, in China. If they find serpentine, it will often be placed into the hands of the finest master carvers um, who will carve it into some sculpture, given obviously depending on the carat weight. Um, what is the meaning of serpentine? Well, the name of this gem is rooted in the snake world. Whilst its green hue is uh, very diff definitely has given its name, it represents various beliefs about the characteristics of serpentine gem dating to the old times. I'm thinking this in a mala would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it's it? It's an incredibly gemmy gem, isn't yeah. it? it? Yeah, really absolutely. Is. It's mouth-wateringly gemmy. You get a meter, so you've got wow. more than enough to make an amazing Marla necklace. Probably one of the rarest gems that we have in our vault. It goes back to kind of like strawberry quartz, serpentine. It's not diamonds, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, and tanzanite that are the world's rarest gemstones. It's gems like this um, that we seldom ever see. Um, it is a, magne a magnificent cleansing gem. So if you believe in the metaphysical side of your jewel, uh, gemstones, and it purifies the blood and the entire body. Serpentine eradicates bacteria and parasites promotes calcium and magnesium intake, cures uh, hypoglycemia, uh, I can never say that, hypoglycemia and diabetes, and assists with endurance and durability. It aids with anxiety alleviation. It's incredibly powerful at, and is reliable. This gem can help in cellular restoration and replenish uh, of your strength levels. Well, do you know what? Get it. I know. If it does all Definitely. that, if it and does I can't all say that. that's that's not that's not medically proven. It's obviously that's the metaphysical beliefs. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah, but it the, also looks beautiful. Those metaphysical beliefs are there from um, a point at which they've been recognised. Absolutely. For for thousands and thousands of years as well. I have nine available opportunities. Again, imagine this with pearls because that's going to highlight those beautiful silvery chatoyant beauties that naturally occur within this gemstone faceted six mil i've got nine available it's a full meter i'm already down to seven well done collectors and you know again an indication of how rare this gemstone is we were only ever able to buy 40 and we didn't do a showcase of it it was this strand that's it that's all we had i'm sure it was a deal of the day actually natural canadian serpentine we could all day long stay here. We could all day long stay here. Beverly, Mary and Jerry, Donna and Karen, 
you're all there the rarest strand in our vault we're all believe, we're all saying yeah i agree because you know what we've got multiple alexandrites got multiple paraba tourmalines jade not a problem but actually of our vault this is the rarest of all this is the only one we've got at 749 you try and find serpentine of this quality with that wonderful sumptuous deep i always think it's quite a luxurious color oh it's serpentine. totally luxurious it's so um it's how i feel about christmas i feel about serpentine you know yeah it it, it just brings emotion out of you um and as i say it's so so gemmy it's so look how it lays there so beautifully beautiful and then faceted oh, to that perfection is amazing it's i mean the chatoyancy is as noticeable as the sparkle mm. you know if you were to put this I don't think, you know, talking about serpentine, if you were to go to our sister channel, they won't have a showcase of serpentine. This is the only strand we have in the entire partnership. Yeah, a meter of serpentine to, to our sister channel, that's true, it's probably an entire collection on our sis, sister channel because there'll be individual stones. 499 pounds gets you the whole parcel, a meter long length. That is not your price, jewelry makers. Again, imagine this with your quartzite jade as well, because that sometimes has a little flex, doesn't it, of natural green within. Those beautiful quartzite jade drums that we've got coming up, I think will be absolutely amazing. Um, these ones, just here, would be beautiful. The Amazon I one earlier oh, would be gorgeous. With it. gorgeous. 199 pounds for what we all believe here at Jewelry Maker is quite probably the rarest gemstone we have within our portfolio. Um, what? Ross has just said that's not your price. It's a meter. It's a meter long length strand. That will make a lot of jewelry. Very high end jewelry. Believe it or not, we take this natural serpentine strand, really, to under 100 pounds. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think it'd be lovely for gents' jewellery. Absolutely stunning. I'd wear this. I, I really lean towards sort of forest green. It's one of my favourite yeah, colours. Love green, don't you? I mean, I will admit to finding green my least favourite colour yeah. you know, um, decades ago. But since working with gemstones, yeah. there's not one green gemstone that I don't love. No, same. I love green. Green is really, really popular. Absolutely. At the minute. In accessories, all sorts of accessories. £99.99. And 99 wow. pence. Goodness me. That's incredible. That's a pound per centimetre of natural serpentine. That's crazy, Ross unbelievable if i mean if you don't if you don't get that i probably will do you know i i think this particular strand will work for literally the most let me say the word innocent i don't mean that but the innocent of jewelry makers in yeah. other words a very 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 new beginner yeah put it onto a stretchy fabulous piece of jewelry and then it will go right the way through all of those steps up to somebody who is far more advanced mm. to make something really, really special. Sort and I of think Bulgari you, special. Yeah, 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 totally. And I think if you separate each of your serpentines, whether that's with a knot or with a, with a CB, whatever it might be, um, you know, that's when you're going to see that silvery chatoyancy yeah, yeah. really light up. I've only got nine available. I've got Sarah there, Susan there, Ka oh, five available, sorry. Sarah there, Susan there, Carol there, Patricia there, Millie B, Mary and Jerry and Donna. You've all got it in your baskets or on the phone lines. There's five left. And the reality is, you know, Wayne just stepped into the gallery, our gem buyer. If we were to say, Wayne, casually, Wayne, can you get us some more serpentine, please? He'd la he would literally laugh in my face. He would laugh in my face. Because he always talks about how difficult it is to get hold of this beautiful gemstone. You know, the, some of the world's rarest gems are more plentiful, more available than um, than beautiful serpentine, particularly of this quality. Um, so, what's that? Fifty pounds on split wow. pay. I mean, if you've got any amethyst in your um, collection at the moment, I that'd urge you to put this. Oh, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Yeah. really regal and then maybe some gold some gold uh, like gold plated sterling silver spaces we're hugely over allocated 
there's only four left within the business that's not just us here at jewelry maker that's gem collector that's gemporia there's only four left in the business again we could knock that with a silk i would put some pearls with it because i think that was uh well sort of give you i'd use like a like a, a pearly white silk i think or oh, see Ollie's thinking dark. Yes, yeah, yeah, black, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it depends. If it's if I'm making it for me, I'd go white because I think that's going to brighten it. And I'd put a few pearls in there. If I was making it for my husband, then I'd probably go black or something yeah, exactly. like that. Yeah, um, exactly. Amazing. Yeah, you could go for the classic sort of Chinese influence with some red silk it there as well. It would look phenomenal with um, sort of one of the pearls from the 12 o'clock yes. uh, project today, just asymmetrically, asymmetrically on the side and then dropping two or three strands from Amazing. there and just one around the neck it's a full meter yeah. a full meter well done make sure you're checking out i've got loads of you with it was super over allocated so first come first serve um shall we do uh this color's insane when we're talking about jadeite whether that's guatemalan whether that's burmese whichever um we have the last 10 by the way this is the last 10 it's it's two things that that it's not the four c's like you would do your diamonds two things determine the value that is color and that is translucency uh you could say artistry as well um which is often a, 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 um, a determining value factor on jadeite too i.e how well it's been carved or cut um these are relatively new i only launched them not so long ago maybe a week or so ago and i've got less than 10 available now that is some of the finest jadeite color i've seen because look look how look how like spearmint green that is and it's all totally natural we currently do not have any any type b or type c currently and i say that because moving forward we will we'll have to lean towards the polymer impregnated or the dyed variety because we know that the burmese mine is closed you've got to remember 800 years history done in 2020 the burmese mine closed in 2020 it is harder to carve a four-leaf clover um, the many other shapes because you've got four clefts effectively those are all natural wrist points even here at 99 pounds and 99 pence that's absolutely amazing i mean take you, you could channel your inner alhambra couldn't you your van cleef and arpels you've got the chain you had chain earlier on you could use that or you could go for the precious metal whichever you wish they'll go beautifully i think with linda's projects at 12 o'clock and we've got collectors already checking out we're not stopping there marishka wendy we're not stopping at that price tag we're going even lower um yeah lovely rings you can use your gallery wire perfectly around this and your bezel strips just literally bead it some of the most simple jewelry wow unbelievable do you remember when we first launched type a Dye? a strand like this would have been 299 would we all agree mm -hmm. 299 pounds you know you're getting normal rounds for 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 i don't know yeah i remember them being like 200 pounds uh, and here we are bringing you a far more complex shape for 49 pounds and 99 pence you've got what two four six seven individual clovers if you go to van cleef and arpels website and look at they don't do burmese jadeite by the way they actually do much more plentiful gemstones like your tiger's eye and your onyx and your mother of pearl you know they don't have type a jadeite because of the rarity of the gemstone and i don't want to speak uh, i don't want to sound derogatory but Van Cleef and Arpels will produce thousands of the Alhambra necklaces. That's why they need the more plentiful gemstones. Um, you, sourcing from us here at Jewelry Maker, can afford to work with the rarest gems. Well done, Ayrshire, Anna, Marishka and Wendy. Congratulations. Stay where you are. And remember, all of these items do time out at the top of the hour, so make sure you're checking out your baskets. Natural. Multicoloured pearls. Oh. But there's only five. These are stunning. Right, again, going up I to the I call necklace. these rosebud pearls. Yeah. Um, They're a lovely shape. Well, that's what I mean, yeah. They have those little, tiny little, sort of, what would you call them? Um, oh. Markings on them that look like a bud of a rose waiting to go into bloom. Look, those are natural colours, Linda, and yeah. they're, so, they're so metallic. Remember, from a harvest of pearls, harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. And you've got a full strand here. 
That's stunning. I don't know what our graphics say, but if that if it doesn't say near round at the very least, good, okay. Um, I will be disappointed. They are near round pearls. Every pearl that is cultured wow. has the intention or the uh, or the they aim for it to be a, near, a round. You know that is still the most valuable. I've got five of these within the vault. This is that jewelry makers. You know those box class that we've just had. So for me, not this on a box class. Keep it traditional, and that's a piece of jewelry. Pop onto Yoko Yoko of London just for kicks. They specialise in pearls. You know, you see what price naturally pink pearls are on Yoko of London. You or 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 or, and, or Asile, There's another one. There's a great uh, website called Pearl Paradise. Yes. as well that do stunning. They do designs. Mickey Moto. See how much pearls of natural quality of this caliber. See how much they are. I bet they're not at £1,729. I bet they're more than that. In fact, I can almost guarantee it. I'm going to show you a price point that we're not paying. Not paying. Ross, you went to Stratford the other day, didn't you? Stratford upon Avon, lovely, beautiful Stratford upon Avon, and you looked into a posh jeweler's window, didn't you? That I always reference on air. Um, and he took a photograph of some pearls, pearl stud earrings, just li literally a pearl stud earring, and they were five hundred pounds. That's two pearls, and they were they were like this, weren't they, Ross? They were this colour, this colour, times two, five hundred pounds. And that's, you know, they're not wrong. Yeah, you, you don't feel whew, shocked by it. No, really, that's normal. That. We're bringing you a, a strand like this. I used to sell pills in the jewellers that I worked at 25 years ago. Gosh, that's frightening. It's 25 years ago. And they were thousands then. Mm -hmm. Well, they always have been. I mean, pearls have been mega popular since, well, the beginning of time almost mm. when... Um, they used to be fished for and dived for. Free dived. Um, there they are. And they are possibly even more popular now because the generations are starting to wear them. Oh gosh, pills have never been more expensive than they are today. Um, there's that photograph. Ross is really upset that the stand's grubby. He's like, look at the state of the stand. <laughs> You've got over a thousand pounds worth of pearls and they, they could just get a baby wipe on that. That would brighten it up. We are not paying 199 today, jewellery makers. You're also not going to be paying for near round, naturally coloured freshwater pearls. Not paying 149. Can I just emphasise, jewellery makers, these are completely irreplaceable. You know, pearls are still being cultured. Yes, they are. But the Chinese will not... Uh, um, well, they're keeping them for the domestic Yeah, market, they're keeping all of them because their own, uh, their, their, their own audience, for want of a better description, will, put, will pay the high premiums. They will. So yeah. we cannot replace them for what's on your screens. You know, the most affordable of those earrings, says Ollie, £430. You can make those earrings times 20. That, that's over £9,000 if you were to go at their prices. I mean, when um, one of our pearl suppliers was over last summer, and when we all went out for dinner, um, he brought his gorgeous wife with him, and she sat next to me, and she had a strand very similar to this on, and um, I said straight away, oh my goodness, Bernard, that is the most beautiful strand of pearls your wife's wearing. He said, yes, he said it caused a lot of dis um, domestic disharmony, because um, I only had three of these, he said, and I, I got an offer on them, but she was so desperate for, the, for one of them that yeah. I just had to give in. Um, and then the other two went to her mother and her sister. Oh, amazing. Look at those. Look at that luster. You can really see the uh, metallic beauty. I'm going to leave it with you at £129, £32.25 on your 0% interest um, fine, uh, split payment, sorry. Um, well done. Samantha in Coventry gone straight in and got hers. Well done, Samantha. That takes us to four. Rita and Manchester, you're there as well. I'll leave that with you, jewellery makers, because is it time? It is time. I'm very excited about this because um, we love a gadget, don't we? Love a gadget, especially a gadget that's going to make life easier. Um, because we've all done this, haven't we? 
to pick up your little little beads or your little spaces. And let's be honest, it's not the most hygienic thing, is it? No, I mean, I, I must have read about it because I wouldn't think about doing this. But with, um, you know, one of the accessories on a vacuum, put an old pair, pair of, of tights. Sort of tights over there. But you try and get that pair of tights off of the vacuum accessory. <laughs> And then they, they just all go they off again. They all go again. everywhere. I yeah. tell you what, don't worry about your tights. Keep your tights. Yeah. Keep your vacuum in the cupboard. Yeah. I'm going to get bring you the perfect option that's going to solve all of those issues. We have the vacuum cleaner, which isn't to do your floor. It's to clean up your little beads, jewelry makers. Up next is your early bird. <laughs> I've got a messy board. Here we go. I've got a messy bee board. I'm just going to put this underneath it so that you can actually see it work. So whether these are seed beads, whether these are spacer beads, whatever it is, whether they're micro gemstones. Ah, oh, Elle, you're so clumsy. You've spilt your seed beads absolutely everywhere, haven't you? Don't worry. Don't, I haven't got to nick the finger and then just sort of press them down and then you're only going to get a couple of them. Um, I'll get my little vacuum cleaner out. Now, listen. Can you tell I've been having a go at it already? <laughs> so, it, it, yeah. It firstly has the little brushes on the bottom. That's obviously to sweep all your beads into one area, but being honest, you don't really need to do that. Um, then you have a little brush. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Yeah? And you also have a nozzle. The nozzle, see under here, goes in there, clicks into place. It's very straightforward, this. You have a button on top. Press button. Yeah. Can you hear it? Can you hear it going? Are you ready? It's also deeply satisfying, this. Now, don't you think the children would love to do that? I mean, I'm getting a lot of a lot of pleasure out of this right now. It is. Listen to that go! Super, super powerful. Gets all your beads up, jewelry makers. And then, hang on. If it sounds like it's getting a bit full, which this might be, because I have been having to go this morning. You literally open it up. Have I opened it up the right way? Open it up. Give it a little shake. And all your beads are in there. And that's what your brush is for. So you literally just sweep them out and scoop them into your um, into your tube, into your storage, whichever it is. It's amazing. Now I'm gonna start shaking them all back out again. Um, shake it all out. Graphics are live, jewelry makers. It's really simple to put together. It kind of clicks back into place like so. There we go. And away you go again. Um, I'm going to start with the pink jewellery makers. How many... Just think of the time that this is going to save us. It's fun, this, Linda. Yeah, it's really very therapeutic. I mean, this is one of those gadgets that you've survived with without it, but once you actually buy it and use it, you'll think, how did I not have this before? I know. And I, honestly, it's so fun. It's so satisfying. Way better than actually vacuuming. Look at that. You can hear it. We've got lots of little beads in there now, haven't I? Under £10. I think the kids would love this job. I know you can get them to tidy up after you. I'll turn that off just because it's getting a little bit noisy right next to my mic. Um, so this is the pink. We've also got it in like a minty colour that you can just see there on the front of the desk. Um, so it's actually on... Is that Amazon? Where? Timu. Okay, that's not bad, is it? Eight ninety one from Timu. You've got to pay shipping with that though, with Timu. Um, desktop vacuum. Oh wait, so you can even do things like your your um, keyboard and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be seed beads. You could use this. Oh, so it's not just seed beads. Use it in between your little your little keyboard. Get the dust from there as well. That's where the brush where the brush comes into play. It's not it's not specifically just for beads, even though that's what I'm showing you this morning. We're at $9.99. So you can go to Timu, you can get it from there, but you're gonna have to pay the postage and you're also gonna have to wait quite a long time. I've actually got a Timu order in right now. Yeah, for the part Willow's birthday party bags. 
Yeah, one of those bir birthday party bags, Timu's great for that. You mm -hmm. know, like rubbers and pencils and yeah. things like that. Uh, we've beat that price. We're at £6.99. It takes two AA batteries, jewelry makers. But we're not done there. Ah, what a great idea. See, whenever I'm cleaning like my husband's desk, which I kind of don't do anymore because I got told off because I pressed, pressed the key and uh, keyboard and I think I lost some of his work or something <laughs> like that so um, you could just give him this couldn't you here you go it's a nice little vacuum for you I bet it's incredible the amount of dust and dirt and oh, bacteria yeah. that must actually form between those little keys and your laptops you could use them on your laptops as well 6 99 we've beat that price in your car good call Ollie all the little crevices in your car which are so difficult to get with a big old vacuum oh yeah Four wow. pounds and ninety nine pence only. Secret Santa gifts, yeah, absolutely. For five pounds only. And look, there it all is. So if I had a dusty old keyboard, I could use that too. Imagine that is dust. Imagine that is, I don't know, my kids eat cake. And it infuriates me in the back of the car. I know, I know, I know. They eat cake. It was like, I pick them up from school and they're like, Mummy, can I have my lunchbox? I'm like, oh, yes. So they start eating cake in the back and there's crumbs everywhere. I could keep this in the car. How cool is that? We're not even stopping there at £4.99. We're going even lower. So you get the vacuum itself. You get the brush. You get the nozzle. Come on, stay. We're not even stopping at four pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's rolling away. <laughs> Let's put it like that, shall we? Um, we've got multi buyers. What a great little gift this is! It is. It's a lovely little just because gift. Just because. Yeah. And you can have a little bit of fun with it as well. <whistles> Janet, Maeve, Janice, Carol, Ayrshire, Kathy, Elaine, Tracy, new customers, Elizabeth. Three pounds and ninety-nine pence only. How cool is that? How cool. All your beads, you saw me literally testing on beads, and I should imagine sea beads are actually heavier than your average dust particle. Um, so it's gonna work great on, um, on that. I, I think that's a top idea, actually, having one in your car. Because there is nothing worse. You should have one in the desk, actually, for when I have my breakfast, and then you drop crumbs down the front of you. You could just literally just hoover yourself down, couldn't you? Not even stopping there, says Roscoe. Really? Go to team if you want to. <clears throat> £8.91 pence plus your post and packaging. Or with us, three ninety nine. Wow. <coughs> Going even lower. And we've got it in two different colourways. So we actually have it in the pink and we've got it in the mint. I like I like both. You know when you, um, I, this is one of the things that I do a lot of, when you're taking your uh, gemstones off the temporary strand. Yeah. Well, I sort of tend to cut at the knot end and slip X amount off. And then that little excess of, bear with me, I'll get there, of uh, thread just sort of drops yeah. anywhere yeah. random. And, um, and then I tie a knot in and then repeat the, repeat the job. Well, Last night I looked on my um, lounge carpet and there were so many bits of those little threads, threads yeah. that rather than picking them up one by one yeah. and putting them yeah. into the bit or somewhere, yeah. Yeah. it would hoover them, them all up. Vacuum, yeah. How good. Two ninety nine. What a great bit of kit for three quid. Yeah. Three quid. We've got the sort of minty colour to bring you as well. Shirley, Maeve, well done to you. Brenda, new customers. Marilyn and Flincher, Janet, Helen, Angela, Debbie. I'm going to keep one of these in the car. I think that's a great idea. Actually, have it in the car because, I mean, I'm guilty of it as well. If I drive down to, drive down to see my mum, it's usually just after a show, at which point I'm absolutely famished. So um, I usually grab a sandwich en route. And of course you get crumbs down you. So actually just get your little vacuum for when you've stopped, for when you've stopped, drive safely everyone. Um, let's bring you the lovely, it's, it, they say blue, but I think that's like a mint color. Like a minty color. It's a mint imperial color. Isn't it's it? lovely. How good's that? Are you ready? We're gonna go straight down to the price tag. You've seen how it works now, jewelry maker. So I'll put this, mess, this messy bee board away. I'll hoover it in the break. Um, but again, really simple. You press the button. 
you can hear it moving away you've got the nozzle there you've got the brush you've got a minute at this price tag uh two pounds and 99 pence it's an amazing deal isn't it i mean at this at this price knowing how um dreadful i am with dropping seed beads and things like that I'd be tempted to buy two and have two on the have go. Have them on the go, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Multi-hand, like, yeah. like a karate yeah. kid. Wax on, wax off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 2.99, well done, everybody. Now, is this a clock to close the hour? The whole hour, so everything, if you've got anything in your baskets, any of the sterling silver pieces, that amazing chain, the serpentine, the pearls, um, the Amazonite, obviously your vacuum cleaners as well. I'm going to be putting one of these in my car. Make sure you're checking out because they will disappear. Um upon closure of this hour jewelry makers good luck what a what a lovely little tool so practical one of those tools you didn't realize you needed now coming up after the break we've got the most a vision of summer amazing projects with our lovely linda check out your baskets and we'll see you after this Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Nice bit of coffee then. Yeah, lovely. One of those, you know, when it Cabo. hits the spot. It's lovely, Linda. Mm. Oh, I'm loving this too. I forgot to say, this oh, is very nice. Thank you very much. Is that a kimono? Not a kimono. No, what it's just it? it's basically it's a cover up. <laughs> is it? It was really nice. Oh, thank you. It's really nice. Funny you used to say that. I, um, you know when it was really gearing up to that hot weather and Willow had a sports day, um, I wore a cover up. Mm. Um, with bits underneath, otherwise yeah, it would have been uh, <laughs> cover nothing. It would have covered nothing, yeah. yeah. It's lovely for summer though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Very yeah. nice. Um, speaking of summer, we have the most amazing projects. Now, in three different colourways, so they're all available on pre-order right now, um, a vision of summertime jewellery makers. And if you want beads, then these projects, you most definitely will be getting them. Now, the instructions that you get with these projects, and whether it's whether it's the rose gold, the yellow, or the silver, um, are all around that amazing daisy necklace. Where is it? Where is it? Where is yeah, it? Where is it? Daisy chain. Oh, there we go. There we go. So this is the project instructions that you'll be getting. That's so pretty. It's a little bit different, and it lends itself to um, your own creativity. Shorter, longer earrings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it does take you back to your childhood, that doesn't mm. it? You know, yeah. when we used to, used to sit on the yeah. usually in school, we used to sit the on the lawn, and yeah, and, uh, making your daisy chains. Yeah, I still do it with my granddaughter. Love that. Now you get masses, so I'll talk about the instructions in just a second. But look at all of this that you get. So let me just grab my tweezers. You've got um, the most beautiful multi-row connector, which is stunningly encrusted as well. So look at that, can you see? Very beautiful with a nice large lobster claw clasp. So you get that. Um, that will hold five, five rows or more because you can always double up, double can't up. you? Yep. Yep. So you get this. Then you get your amazing beading threads, which is a lovely color, Linda. Isn't I've not seen it? these it's before. It's like a chocolate color, isn't it? Very regal. Then, look at all these. You Talk get about the need for a seed bead vacuum. Ooh, yes. Two massive seed bead <laughs> scoops in all those lovely warm summer colours. I'm going to have to kind of like balance this there for a minute because if I can, go on. Mm. Can I? Yep. Right. Because, if I just move that out of the way a second, you also get... A full meter of labradorite. Have you noticed we rarely see labradorite now? I know, yeah. It has sort of uh, gone very um, Heidi, hasn't it? Yeah. And then you get a beautiful 38 centimeter strand of faceted labradorite. It's my favorite color of labradorite. You know, when it's like that really soft, silvery cashmere color? Yes. Um, look at that. These are beautiful. I know what these projects are going to. And I'll tell you what, I, will, I would happily, to the moon and back, pay it for either one of these Labradorite strands. Mm, happily. Beautiful, aren't they? Full of labradorescence, but in a more soft and subtle, more moonstone subtlety, yes, I suppose. Yes, yes. Can you see that lovely labradorescence? That again, chatoyancy. Not your price. So you get two sea bead scoops, a metre of Labradorite and a 38 centimetre strand of faceted Labradorite. You get a multi-row uh, rose gold coloured encrusted clasp and three reels of your beading thread in this project. And you also get Linda's amazing instructions for free. You get those for free. How much do we have of this project? Only 60 available opportunities. And I, I'm looking at that piece. Linda, it doesn't use masses of the Labradorite either, does oh, it? Absolutely not. No, it's a, it's a, um, a sort of technique whereby you only need a few. I mean, you've probably i've probably used less than a fifth of yeah the, oh wow probably le much less than a fifth of the strand we're at 49.99 but that is not your price in fact it's nowhere near your price really okay hang on a minute i know it's monday morning i do get it i do get it monday morning 
sun is shining, you might be hanging your washing out. I need to sort of grab your attention for a second because this is going to the most unbelievable price tag. If I was to do a big star buy auction, right, yeah, okay, let's do this. What, singularly? This scoop on its own, 12 99 mm -hmm. These beading threads, even if I said we were doing a big launch, and we used to sell, sell reels by, for 6 99 didn't we? We did. Okay, so let's call them all 6 99 shall we? That amazing clasp, surely that there, would be, what do you reckon, 12 99 Ross? Probably 7 99 says Ross, because it is actually rose gold coloured, uh, rose gold plated base metal. But, and this is what I was about to say Ross, if we just done a big star by intro, and I was going to give you the whole talk about Labradorite, and we were talking about this gemstone, this amazing feldspar, you know, as the Aurora Borealis, captured in a gem, has been admired for, for centuries. And if I said to you, look, you're getting a meter, a meter here, it's that soft silvery colour, and, and it went, look at that, and, and this was 50 pounds. Yep. I don't think anybody would argue with that because look at the quality of the labradorite. It's not really dark labradorite, so much so that you almost um, lose the ability to see the labradorite. There's quite a lot of clarity to it too. Well, they're diamond-like clarity, mm. aren't they? That recording's insane. One more, 30-second clock. I love that strand. Me too. It's called the... Strand, a strand of distinction, we call yes. those in-house. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I mean, that alone at 49.99. Linda, we don't stop there. In fact, we don't stop anywhere near that price tag. For the metre long length of beautiful smooth rounds, four millimetre smooth rounds, and your faceted rounds, and your beading thread, and the bead scoop, and your rose gold colour base metal multi-class, and the instructions jewelry makers today you can get it all for 24 pounds and 99 pence um permission to jump on my soapbox just for one second permission granted yeah and people say our kits are getting more expensive we never would have brought a meter and a half best part of anyway no. of gemstones no, no, plus no. sea beads and beading thread and a class for no, 24.99 no, no. would we no definitely back in the day not, no this no. is what it's so, it's so affordable for the quality of the labradorite that you're getting here look at that light performance that i could just look at that all day mm. it's it's so good it looks almost like aquamarine yeah do you see where i'm coming from it's got that bluish color yeah yeah and it's all natural 24.99 i would buy the strand the, the shorter strand for that price all three projects are on pre-order you know the kind of price points. And what, sorry? You're going to do all, what, this one too? How about if I said you can get all three projects which are on pre-order right now for £60. So all are going under £20. So wait a minute, yeah, one, let's call that one component, two, three, four, five components, four pound per component. Wow. And I mean, I'll say it again, are our, are our projects getting more expensive? And we're not, you know, you have to pay six, you have to pay 9.99 for that on our sister channel. 9.99 for the instructions on our sister channel. You, they can be more as well. Four pound per component today, jewelry makers, for a meter of labradorite, faceted labradorite, for a bead scoop, for your beading thread, for your class, four pounds only, and that's not even including Linda's instructions. What, like, again, I've got to go back to that saying, Roscoe. If I was doing a star buy, you know, we had the podium and we had the whole intro, and I spoke about labradorite, and um, there's no way on earth that like, we would be doing it for four quid. No way, not a chance. Um, but that's what you're seeing here on your screens. Right, lots of you have shopped ahead on the, on the other project, jewellery makers. So this one's the yellow gold. I'm just trying, there it is. Oh, I love that clasp. I'd pay 19 for this clasp, you know. Definitely. 
I picked up some toggles the other day and they're, they're gold plated base metal that I'm going to make some nice holiday jewellery with. Mm -hmm. So you know it's going under £20. Look at that lovely beading thread as well. Nice yep. colour, isn't it? Yeah, like a champagne yeah, colour. Yeah, it is, yeah. Bead scoop. You're sorry, you get your seed beads. You get another metre long length strand just here in your clear quartz. Oh, I might have to get some of these. Because I pay, I would pay, what I, well, we know it's under £20. I would pay that for the metre long length strand of your yeah. clear quartz. Look how beautiful that is, full of sparkle. We don't just stop there, though. You also get the amazing garnet, too. Um, in your faceted three millimetre rounds. I mean, these could be, you could just literally be using these to stock up your stashes, couldn't you? We're always going to use beading thread. We're always going to need clear quartz because they're our alternative to a diamond. Um, that multi-row class is absolutely gorgeous. £19.99. pence. These are mad prices. You remember these gemstones are sourced, mined, faceted, stranded, transported, broadcast. And here we are at 20 quid. I've still got one more project to bring you. And by the way, they will work lovely together. That's another thing I was thinking. I'd use that clear quartz with the labradorite. Oh, with the faceted labradite yeah, yeah, um, lots of you joining us we're kind of waking up to this deal going that's amazing we used to do reels of beading thread for 6.99 that clear quartz it's a meter 300 individual genuine gemstones faceted to perfection you know and we're at 20 quid the strand on its own is worth more than that well done everybody again make sure you're checking out your baskets we've got the silver color which you hopefully you've shopped ahead on um, are these all as limited as one another this one's got the biggest quantity okay there yeah. oh that's, that's pretty so i'm gonna start with the gemstones look at that so you've got your two mil faceted two mil a meter of your clear quartz. Look at that. It's very pristine bridal. as well, mm. aren't they? Here's your beautiful multi row clasp. Hopefully, you can see that. It's quite tricky to actually show everything. There's that much in this project that it's really difficult to hold everything. So, you get the multi row clasp, row clasp which is bejeweled. You have in this one one of our threading packs, which includes. Oh, which includes the monofilament, the clear elastic, and the beading thread. There's the clasp. Um, and lastly, there's your seed beads. A lovely denim blue. Don't forget, you also get your instructions as well. Linda's amazing instructions. Um, I've got 80 of these. We're at £20 already. There's collectors getting involved. A metre, so 138 centimetres of pristine eye clean clear quartz. Don't be fooled. Clear quartz as a mineral is not especially rare. Sorry, quartz as a mineral, not especially rare. Clear quartz as a gemstone where it has this level of clarity is exceptionally rare. We're at £19.99. pence, But we are going lower. The final project. Any questions that you have for lovely Linda, do text in. And like you said, Linda, beautifully bridal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and it's just sort of a gemstone as well that will work for any occasion, any time. Um, you can gift it knowing full yeah. well it's going to be loved, etc., etc. Well, I'm looking at your amazing project in the 12 o'clock hour. You've used some little tiny sea pills. Uh -huh. You could use clear quartz as an alternative, absolutely. couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. We're going lower, jewellery makers. Good luck, everybody. Um, 138 centimetres of beautiful, pristine clear quartz. You get a tube. Well, the tube of sea beads should be £8, shouldn't it? What on earth? That on its own should be £8. These, I'm going to say £6.99. I know that's a price we have done in the past. That bejeweled, um, silver-plated, multi-row clasp. Surely that's 7 99 and the strand should be way more than what's on your screens right now. What an amazing deal. So five components, what's that, three pound each? Yeah, three pound each. Yeah, I think you're right. This is like a stash builder, all three are yeah. stash builders, really. Um, and all highly wearable. Yep. Um, all highly stimulate your creativity. 
etc etc and and you and you will always use clear quartz and that labradorite always they're, yeah they're the always, ones that always, you would go always. to yeah like i said your amazing necklace in the 12 o'clock hour you could definitely use yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry um use a couple of those uh, as the sort of uh, yeah, bubble styles little, yeah absolutely unbelievable any questions do text in jewelry makers make sure you're checking out your baskets everyone and it does come with linda's amazing daisy chain instructions as well so that comes free of charge it's available on uh, dispatch of your order um linda what are you going to show us the daisy chain lovely right so the you will need as extras to the project kit which i've actually put on the instructions mm. you'll need the project kit you'll need approximately for the design i've made 16 more or less including uh what you know taking into account the length you want the piece to be you'll mm. need to clasp you'll need some jump up, rings yeah. Uh, you'll need approximately uh, six inches of chain. We've had chain on earlier. You, for tools, just flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, and some cutters. You okay. know, your normal everyday cutters. And uh, it's a sort of skill level is beginner, very yeah. much beginner. So, okay. right. So, I've got some rose gold coloured head pins here. These are the normal size head pins, and I'm using the Labradorite. So. First of all, just make sure that, because these are small beads, three mil beads, just make sure they fit onto the head pin before you go and cut the head pin, etc. Yep, that's absolutely fine. So take that off. And then what you need to do is to trim the head pin down about an inch, about two and a half centimeters. Trim the head pin down. Retain the piece that you've just cut off because going on to the next head pin because you need 16 or upwards take that little piece you've just cut off put it next to the new head pin and then chop off the next one so we've got a couple of head pins ready to go there so i did it when i did the project i just cut i think 20 odd of the head pins so that i could just proceed so the next thing is to pop on your bead and then taking your flat nose pliers, chain nose pliers, whatever you've got to hand, about one centimetre from the top of the head pin. If you pop your flat nose pliers in the, at the very tip of them between the two barrels, stabilise the head pin and the bead and then just turn 90 degrees. And what we're going to do now is a simple loop, which you know I'm quite infamous for. Pop that about a centimetre down your round nose pliers and let that angle rest on your index finger. And pushing down on that, oops, live TV is great, isn't it? Push down on it, get that back again. And then as you push down, raise the elbow and do like a half turn. So you've got a um, sort of, a, let me pop it down there. You've got like a elongated question mark. Mm -hmm. So then just flip the half loop down and then just ease it. So sort of if on that side profile, ease it down to the rest of the sort of straight on the head pin. So now, you've got like a little lollipop head on the end of your head pin. Yeah. Right, if you complete X amount of those, you can always add more or you can always add less, obviously. And then take one of the jeweled head pins and then just as you would open a jump ring, pop, in the hope that this is the side that opens, Again, resting between thumb and index finger, take your flat nose pliers and just do a quarter turn on that simple loop. Take another component, compo com I've got the right teeth in today, another component that you've already beaded. I'm sorry, I've got the grey against the... That's got one of your labradites on, yep. isn't it? So, and then pop that, sorry, above the bead. Ah. So that's above the bead, take your flat nose pliers again and close that loop and just make sure that that loop is nicely closed 
by pinching it where it joins. Now when I hold that up, I'll hold that up on a head pin just to show you that naturally it starts to do that sort of dog leg. You yeah. see what I mean, okay? So you just proceed then, take another one and open up the loop again. And then on the one that you've just popped on the first one, again, on the top of the bead, just let it lay on your index finger as a cushion. Go back to your flat nose pliers and then close that loop effectively. Always just make sure that you take time and that you close the loops, otherwise it's going to break at some point, they'll slip out. You see now I'm starting to get that pattern evolving. You get one one side, one the other, and then naturally it will do its own zigzagging. So I'll just do one more. I've just noticed there's a slight bend on that last one I put on on the head pin. So I'll, when I've done the whole of the design, I'll go back and I can straighten that wire yeah. using my flat nose pliers just to go up and down on it. So again, I will open up, just square that up a little bit, open up my simple loop, quarter turn. The last one I popped on, letting the bead drop to the stopper, pop that on top of the bead, take your flat nose pliers back and close. Now, the only thing that is quite um, important, I think I put it as a top tip in the instructions, the only thing that's quite important is that you take time over doing those loops and the length of the head pins when you cut them. That's why it's best to retain that first cut off piece. Um, is otherwise you're going to get, if it's going to be a long, you haven't trimmed them off properly, you'll get longer ones, shorter ones, longer ones, shorter ones. And it will just look undesigned really. Mm -hmm. It'll look a little bit odd on the eye. Um, but as I say, go back afterwards and straighten if you've got any kinks. You might just get them when you're maneuvering those Li those loops closed. So just go back, taking your flat nose pliers and just give them a pinch all the way along and you will actually strengthen the head pin itself then. And then finding the very first one that you popped on, keeping that at the top because the very first one has a, um, a loop there that you can attach then to a jump ring or straight onto your clasp or a piece of chain there that's going to go at the back of the neck with a piece of chain clasp and then on the other side on the other side you will end with um, a bead at the base of the head pin so all you need to do is take a piece of or just cut a piece of say 0.6 wire and this is part of the residue of one of the head pins I've used and just do a just under a centimeter make a simple loop again as you did on the daisy chain and pop that back and then on the other end repeat so just under a centimeter 90 degree turn let it rest on your index finger because it's so much easier to get that angle into the index finger so that you don't deviate it now we've got two loops one on each end you can straighten them up if you want to by twisting them around and then on that very last component which obviously ends in a bead and the end of the head pin to attach the other side of the clasp if you're using a double-sided clasp Again, open one of the loops and close up again after placing them in exactly the same place. I'm sorry if my fingers are in the way, it's a little bit fiddly. Pop your flat nose pliers, pinch it down, and then that then will come up. I know this is a little bit short, but that then enables you, here's the first one, which has got the loop for one side of the class to be attached either directly or into chain or via a jump ring and then you've got another component here to do exactly the same and then as you uh, finish the necklace it will 
be very much a zigzag design like the daisy chain is when you make them. So you can use your own um, inspiration on it by you can make those. I've done a small pair of earrings as well. They're there somewhere. Yes. And I've made the links shorter, quite a bit shorter. But again, you could leave them the same length or make them shorter so that you see more gem than you do of head pin. But it's just a technique that can be um, used in many different ways. You can, I mean, I find with techniques, if you play around with them, you can really make something entirely, excuse me, entirely different to the first thing they made with the yeah. technique, i.e. you could add two beads on to each component or a seed bead or a little spacer bead either side. So, you know, just ring the changes as it were, but using exactly the same technique as in the written instructions, etc. Love cetera. those. Love it with the yellow gold as well. I think it looks really lovely yes, with the yellow gold. Yes. Um, those projects have been incredibly popular. I'm not surprised. A, because of the inspiration, but B, because of that amazing price point. It's incredible. Unbelievable. Loving those and gorgeous shapes. Um, again, make sure you're checking out your baskets, jewelry makers. Now, I want to tell you everything that's coming up today because it's actually, it's this is almost like a Saturday show today because we have the launch of your, a strand that actually missed for some bizarre reason, actually missed when Dave joined me on air. I don't know if, if it must have been squirreled away. Maybe it was sort of hidden in a different department. I'm not entirely sure, but... And um, that's brand new, the largest carrot weight in the drums of your quartzite jade. That shape is the most popular that we've ever done. It absolutely flew out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got 72 available opportunities on that. It's the biggest carrot weight that we've seen. Um, 320 carats of yes, it look, jade. well it looks it doesn't it um, and for me that is very essentially Asian looking isn't it sort of with that shape yeah and that gemstone it's it's, it's so beautiful quartzite jade and it's got more translucency than what mm. you'd have seen in Burmese jade or nephrite um, so remember this is how I always describe it I will go into more detail when we discuss but um, quartzite jade the GIA are referring to it to as a variety of jade as yeah. well it's it's like if you like nephrite was is the oldest sibling then Burmese jadeite comes uh, comes along that's the thing nephrite different gemstone to jadeite mm -hmm. but they come under the same umbrella now the younger sibling so we've also got all of the last stock opportunities um, for of, of your quartzite jade, including the quartzite jade bangles. Remember Dave showed a bangle that was actually on air. Sorry, not on air, sorry, uh, was being sold. It's currently at 1,600 pounds or dollars. I can't remember which one it was. Um, that will go up. That will go up in price, of course, uh, uh, you know, as more of us learn that and accept, because I we are quite resistant to accepting that it's a variety of jade. It's not us referring to it that way. It is firstly the East, and then of course the GIA, the largest institute in the in, in, in the industry, refer to it as a jade as well. So that's coming your way. I want to talk to you about your deal of the day, and I'm just literally thinking, please, somebody, please remind me to get my phone. Please remind me to get my phone during the break because I definitely want to buy some of these. It's the first time ever, jewelry makers, that we are bringing you. This design, because we actually did it in Burmese, Jade, and it sold out. First time ever, it landed on Friday. Wow, it's beautiful. That's how, just after the show, and he literally, away and just popped it straight into Monday. We don't want it to sit in the vault, it's too beautiful. Olmec Jadeite, totally natural, type A grade. I mean, that is some of the best quality Olmec as well, I have to say the deepest colors. We've had two of these designs and they are always popular. I bought the Burmese one. I have to say I prefer that. I prefer the Guatemalan. I just think well, it works with the purple. You know, the depth of it is beautiful. It does work with it. I was just thinking yeah. when, um, when I, I mean, this is the closest I've got to it so far today. It's lovely, isn't it? It just really works with that purple. 
Uh, even down to yeah look i know you make jewelry and this is something that you possibly could make but i'm going to tell you it's not worth your while making it'd be very time consuming and to get that macrame work yeah. as intricately precise as it is on there is beyond me i think well a lot of crew are looking to buy this and ross is just saying i think i'm going to get this today as well you didn't buy the other two but this one you do want to. I know it's it, it's stunning. And I've got 200 available jewellery makers. It's going to the most unbelievable price. It's not enough. It, the reality is it's one of those auctions that we should have got 500. Yeah, definitely. It might not, we might not have been able to buy 500. We've got to remember this is all make jadeite. The mine's closed. The mine's closed. It's not deplete, but it's closed. If you go to Mason and Kay, you can get like a macrame style bracelet on Mason and Kay right now. Look at the prices of them. Hundred and forty dollars, nowhere near as nice. Nowhere near as nice. Nowhere near as nice. Three hundred and sixty dollars. Three hundred and thirty dollars. The cheapest is one hundred and forty. Three hundred and ninety dollars for that rainbow one on the left. Where's the high goo? How much is that? Four hundred and seventy pounds dollars. Yeah, see what I mean? It's cord. And the reality is jade, whether it's nephrite, jadeite, or uh, um, Guatemalan, or even your quartzite jade, whichever variety it is, it's, it's quite a humble, jade is referred to as quite a humble stone. Um, so they quite often do keep them on cords. It's not often sort of encrusted in the um, in you know heavy gold or platinum or I'm not saying exclusively, but it's quite traditional to see jade actually in a cord. Um, I'll be talking to you as well about the meaning behind the actual high goo itself because um, it's 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 protective. Oh, don't do it, Ross. No, no, no. Ross is like I'm tempted to put it on pre-order because I know it's only fifteen minutes. Okay, Ross is saying if you get if enough of you message in, he will put it on. You know you run the risk of missing out yourself then. And me, I'll miss out too because I want at least. Have you put it on pre-order? I, I need ten. Not yet. How many do you need? Ten. Oh, Linda wants ten. There's what do you mean a cap? There's a cap that you can only buy five. Yeah, remove that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> because I want to buy some of these as well. I'm thinking me, firstly. My niece, definitely. Um, do you know, really? Actually, I've forgotten these, so I need 11. I've got four granddaughters and four nieces. Heather's and just messaged in. Can we have a hint on the price, please? unbelievable yeah that's as much it's um it is unbelievable heather it's not do you know when i said earlier on it's not worth your while making I, i'm not going to give a number heather be realistic and think of the lowest price that it should be be realistic well let's just say you know that that 11 that linda wants It, 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 yeah, it would be a great price for one. Okay. I Listen, Heather, I don't mind telling you, I'm on a budget. I didn't do that many hours last month. I didn't do... Neither did I. I was in Cyprus for yeah, three weeks. Yeah, so I'm on a budget. So I'm mindful of the price as well. And I will be getting multiples of these. Definitely. I love this little decoration here between these It's gorgeous, two isn't it? I know Mark so liked that as well. Because Mark's obviously seen the Burmese one, yeah. which sold out. I'll be getting some of these. The quality of that, of that old neck is amazing. Yeah, we're all very excited about the old mine. So let me just explain why the mine is closed, just very, very, very quickly. Um, so we know that the left right mark, Did you know that, that Kotan Jade's gone? Yes, yes. So, so Kotan Jade, Dave talking about it, 10, yeah. 10,000 years done. Done. Wow. 10,000 years. Um, Burmese Jade, done. 800 years, mind out. They're like, oh, it's okay, because we can go to Guatemala. There's amazing Olmec blue jade in Guatemala. Oh, no, you can't, because guess what? Archaeologists have just discovered an ancient Mayan mask, a Mayan king mask. And what that basically means, they're like, right, all you miners, mm -hmm. go on. 
go on, there's no mining operation going on while we, this is a huge, the huge... antiquity sort of laws a, take over then, It is, they? yeah, because this is hugely historic. We know very little about the sort of Mayan civ uh, civilizations. So we don't know when or even if it's going to start back up. What did you say? If you buy anything today, Ross is saying he thinks it'll be this. Yeah, I mean, it's if, so giftable, it's so wearable. And I tell you what, you will get so many people ask you, wow, what a lovely it bracelet, is. where's right, that don't, from? Don't tell anybody, Okay, because it's a surprise. But I've had, I have no idea, no idea at all. Oh, I'm not allowed to show you either. Oh, okay, then be like that. <laughs> We want you. We want to surprise I you as well. I want to surprise as well. Yeah, good as I'm buying the eleven. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's just say you can. Good. You can. Okay. Jewelry makers. That's at ten o'clock. If there's enough of you that message in, Ross will put it on pre-order. You've had double-figure messages, have you? Are you going to do it? Make sure you cut to a break then, Roscoe, because I want to get some of these. Thirty seconds, and then we'll put it on pre-order. It's only ten minutes. Yeah, but we've only got two hundred. We haven't got the five hundred that we want. The price that you're going to see at at the web is no way near its closing price. So ignore that, okay? Eight seconds, and we're going to put it on pre-order. My heart's beating for a variety of reasons. <laughs> I know. I'm nervous. Yes, so am I. I'm nervous and I think I'm going to possibly... I hope they don't sell out. It's on pre-order. Well done. Mm. Good luck. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Yeah, this is how you pre-order. Watch live in the top right-hand side. And you'll see... Scroll down. <laughs> and see how it says coming up on today's show. Just there. Click that. There it is. See that price? Ignore it. And it doesn't matter whether you check out now, everybody pays the final low, you're just merely guaranteeing your place. And we've lifted the cap as well. So if you want to get more than five, it's been on what, 30 seconds? How many have sold? 22, yeah. Mm, That's 10% of the stock quickly. gone. Huh? It's gonna drop down very, very quickly. Ten, uh, yeah, ten percent gone. Ten percent of the stock gone in a in a few seconds, literally in a few seconds. I want to join you on that one as well. It's so cool, isn't it? And, and it's the kind of piece that I I want to wear and never take off. I um, have to limit my jewelry. I don't as much as I should. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't working here, would you? <laughs> but do? that's the kind of piece <laughs> that um that I would wear all the time. Yeah, it's a very you know, 36 have gone. If it was in a shop window, you would spot it in a heartbeat. 100%. 100%. And what's not to love about that? I think it's, you know, my niece at 18 will love this. Yeah, well, I've got four nieces, the eldest being 31, the youngest being just 20. Then I've got my four granddaughters, three at 12 and one at 14. Yeah. And then I've just got a great niece who's just one. And one of those bracelets will be for her yeah. for later on as a little investment. In yeah, jewelry. love it. Because um, the jade might not be here then when she's wearing jewellery. So. Do, you know, do you know something else I bought? Did you buy this as well, Ross? Um, it's beautiful because honeybees and amber just go oh, hand in hand, don't goodness. they? May How that gorgeous is that? Gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? You've got a beautiful Baltic amber. You've got the two sterling silver bees. And if I turn it around, you can see you're on a hidden bale. So again, just feed that onto a chain. How lovely is that as a necklace? If you see, yeah, he's lovely. He's very um, Alex Munro, isn't he? That bumblebee. Very Alex Munro. I can't Monroe. remember who it is now, but there's recently been a very high-end jeweler who's doing Gucci. a bee. Is it? Yes, it is. Gucci. Yeah, a bee collection. Yeah, Gucci yeah. have got bees on sunglasses and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, you think about amber, Baltic amber, you tend to only ever really see in um, like a, a boutique jewellers, don't yeah. you? Um, how much do you think this would be there? 180? Easily. I reckon. Easily. Say 200 pounds for simple maths. 
it is solid 925 sterling silver. I mean, look at the quality, the quality of the amber. You want there to be internal inclusions with amber. Remember, that's life preserved from millions of years ago, flora and fauna that has become um, um, encased, if you like, in this amazing, what was once upon, tree, upon a time tree sap that has defied Mother Nature's natural decaying process. Um, and this gem existed, literally. Do you know, amber is responsible for identifying over a thousand species. It's just amazing. And everybody loves amber. I bought, the same time I bought this, Ross, actually, I bought those lovely little um, hexagonal earrings. Did you buy those too? I bought, I'm not gonna lie, I did buy those for me. However, Willow clocked them. Tiggy hasn't got her ears pierced yet, but Willow clocked them and she was like, oh, that's amber. Can I have those, mummy? So yeah, I, I haven't even, yeah. Willow, Willow took them. She's wearing them as we speak. So here we go. You can get some beautiful Baltic amber earrings here in a teardrop effect. They're nice, but they're not as nice as this pendant, I don't think. Um, 175 pounds. Okay, it's not bad. That's what I would expect. For Amber, I would expect it to be three figures. Here we go. Little bumblebee motif. £149. They're chunky bees, aren't they? £149. Again, lovely, but I think I still prefer this one. I do. It's very tactile, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> very high end. You've got that lovely movement there as well. Another design. There's that little... Uh, Little tubby bee as well, in a pendant, £159. I still prefer this one. That's not a bad price for Amber, is it? Actually, £159. Yeah, We've got a, a, a family jewellers in my local town and they specialise in Amber. I've never seen anything like this in there. I bet. Ever. This is quite similar to ours, £179. With a little bumblebee perch at the top. Probably most similar. I still prefer this one though. You know, go back to the tubby bees. You know the little chunky ones. That one. Not great quality amber. Look how translucent it is. There's very little inclusions in that one. But this is so similar to ours. £179. Ross bought this. I bought this. So anything what below that? Yeah, if that's the going rate, right. and actually not a bad price for Amber, actually. You know, that's not what we're going to do. We've got um, an amazing relationship with Marius, who is um, our Amber supplier. £49.99. Wow. Literally just feed it onto the chain. You've got that um, lovely open bale that's kind of hidden behind the bumblebee uh, wingspan. That's just your first price tag, jewellery makers. We're not even stopping there. We can't have many of these available. Look at the quality of the Amber. Can you see how it kind of looks like little burning embers within a fire? You We're can gonna... see the little tiny pieces of, I don't know, perhaps ancient mosquito yep. or flora, fauna, whatever was captured. there in the day and captured. Yeah. And amber will always get better. It improves yes, with age. Yes, it does. It, it, it sort of deepens in its luster, doesn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Linda, <coughs> we've got two <coughs> price crashes. Oh, okay. I might be able to do earrings with them then. Not your price. Twenty nine ninety nine, but not your price. Excuse we me. are going even lower. Do you want to see it at the decotage? Just to get some idea of scale. It's going to sit beautifully. Here. Just so I'm, I'm thinking twenty inch chain, but it's entirely up to you. Whatever your length preference is. But look oh, how lovely it is on the decotage. It's so, so much. I don't know whether you'll get this, but it's so much a piece of my. Yeah, it is. We're at 29.99, but we're not stopping there. How many have we got, Roscoe? 41 available opportunities. We're gonna do, uh, yeah, it, it's a massive piece of amber as well. 27 millimeters. I mean, that bee bale on its own surely would be 19.99. And then you've got the extra bee, haven't you? That's perched actually on the amber itself. You know, when you think about bees, you think about honey. When you think about amber, you think about um, sort of the liquid form that it once was millions it's of like years a, ago. A, a natural resin. Yes. I'm intrigued. Because I, I bought this, but I can't remember what we took it to. 
It was incredible at 49.99. 24.99. They I I challenge anyone to find genuine natural Baltic amber. Please be mindful. It's very easy to uh, um, make synthetic it amber. Is, yes, it is. You know, it's basically like they make resin, yeah. effectively. Um, genuine certified Baltic amber. You try and find anywhere that will bring it to you of this quality at twenty four ninety nine and of this size. That's absolutely unbelievable. Look at the glow. Twenty four ninety nine for all that sterling silver. Again, look at that on that display. If you were to walk past an amber boutique, it would be high three. It would. It wouldn't be twenty four pounds. It wouldn't be double figures. It would be three figures at the very very least. Um, you know what to do. Ayrshire, Mary, Suzanne, Leslie, Shirley, Heather, Linda, new customers. Another Ayrshire collector getting involved as well. I only had 41 opportunities, but again, they're flying out the door. This is this is why I bought it, Roscoe. Because at 24.99, you know, that bale would be best part of that price tag here at JM. Let alone with that big piece of amber. Well, it's just such a beautiful central drop, isn't it? Yeah, and the, the quality of it is absolutely amazing. Well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, jewellery makers. Um, can we have a little update as well, Roscoe? Oh, he says, I'll have a little look in a second. Bear with. To put this into perspective, Ross has just been looking online and he has stumbled across yeah it does put it into perspective isn't it right liberties of london a nylon cord bracelet with i don't know if it's silver or what 95 pounds what for a bit of cord even if you stripped all the gemstones from ours the craftsmanship that's gone into yours because it's macrame beautifully macrame it is Striking. you have a sliding knot sorry you have a sliding knot just here or a solomon's bar depending on what you refer to it as you have like i said we're excluding that some more braiding here but you get everything you get some of the finest saturation and translucency on all neck jade that we've ever had here it's a beautiful color it's stunning isn't it it's mm. teal like a deep mm. teal jewelry makers use your time during the break you get six round yeah six four at the front two um on the slider and then you have that amazing high goo which we'll talk about the meaning behind that as well we had 200 62 have sold on pre-order thank you for your trust that's in 15 minutes of it being on pre-order they will sell out today we've only ever had this design in um twice one was in the burmese green burmese and then we had one with a rice bead instead of the actual high goo they've both sold out but we're all and there was 200 of those as well but we believe this i like i love it in the bur yeah i've got the burmese one i've got the burmese high goo one but i love this all the more um it is totally natural so over so 62 of these have gone 63 there you go um you can do it it's on the website available for pre-order all the w's at jewelrymaker.com click watch live then click um coming up um, scroll down just a little bit and you'll see on two sections if you like uh, today's show deals but just opposite that coming up on t um, jewelry maker um, and there it is ignore that price tag <coughs> jewelry makers because it is going lower over a hundred of you have it in your baskets I told you it was risky Ross told you it's coming back, uh, coming up straight after the break, jewelry makers. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Beautiful. We'll see you in two. Shopping with jewelry maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com, where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Unapologetically, with my phone on the desk, um, I'm still. I've got the the wheel of doom because we um, we effectively uh, are in a sort of a, a tin shed. Um, three three members of staff have come in asking when's this coming up because they want to get hold of it. Yeah, Chloe's been waiting in the wings for 10 minutes to get hold of this, yeah. Well, it's gorgeous. Chloe's a big bracelet fan, yeah. Because let's be honest, a bracelet is so easy to wear as well, isn't it? So easy to wear. 
And the, I said this earlier on, it's the kind of piece of jewellery that I would wear and never take off. Given that I have to kind of de jewelry every so often, I don't probably as much as I should. Um, this is the kind of piece that I would wear and never take off because the meaning behind it as well. Now, again, if you've just tuned in, I know lots of people do tune in specifically for the deal of the day. Can I also just mention there will be jewelers? There will be jewelers that will shop with these as well, and we've raised the we've we've lifted the cap because normally we say okay five per customer. Um, we've raised that cap so people can come in and buy as many as they want. You just got rid of it altogether. Okay, there we are, amazing. So, if you want to buy two hundred, you can. You can't now because actually, so many have gone already on pre-ordered. 129 left about we don't really know until we bring the graphics live what's that if you want to buy that final 129 they can somebody can now we introduced first one was like a rice bead shape it was with this macrame braid and you had the two accenting beads with that same sort of braiding in the center it was lovely in burmese jade we had 200 of those sold out then we had it in uh, the Burmese Jade Haigu. I bought that too. Uh, I said to Ross earlier on this morning, I was like, I actually bought it for my niece, but she never got it. <laughs> um, so I've actually um, redeemed myself because she will get one. I've actually multi-bought on this too. Um, and that was lovely. But actually, we're all saying that actually, doesn't it work beautifully in the, in, in the Guatemalan? We didn't think that we'd ever see it in Guatemalan jade. Again, I, Guatemalan jade makes up less than, I think it's 25%, it might even be less than that, I can't remember, it's a tiny proportion of what the Burmese jade mine actually operated on an annual basis. Not, not ever, annually. So it is far rarer than Burmese jade. And we know that Burmese jade um, is, or jade I, I should say is, um, one of the top 10 rarest gemstones. So this is far rarer than that. It was only rediscovered in the 1980s. We knew it existed. We knew that Olmec Jade existed. It was pictured in some um, ancient masks, ironically as well, in the Smithsonian Museum. But it wasn't until um, the riding is rediscovered in the dense uh, um, Guatemalan forest. Because you got to remember, they knew it existed, but they didn't know where. They didn't know where. So... Oh, hang on a minute. Before we get into this, final reminder, you can pre-order. Ignore the price that it's at because that's no way near where we're closing it at. No way near. So if you've never pre-ordered, this is how I think it's worthwhile doing today. If you go all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, click watch live, scroll down, coming up on today's show, you will see it there. If you add it to your basket, nobody is paying £999. You are securing your place because nothing is debited until, until it's um, available for dispatch. Everybody pays the final low. 76 people have done exactly that, have shopped ahead, not wanted to miss out on this opportunity. We think it's the nicest. I'm going to say it. Should I have favourites? Probably not. But I bought the Burmese one, but I actually like this one more because that's because of the quality. So again, just remember that it wasn't until the 1980s, uh, mid 1980s, that Guatemalan jade was actually rediscovered. This was it literally its location died out with the civilization that guarded it. Um, so I mean, we know it's rare, but I want to talk more about the fact this shape here. Because it's something we haven't done in a, for, for a period of time. But not only is it a beautiful piece of jewellery, it actually has meaning behind it. So we're going to cover jade, but we're also going to cover the actual shape. So why is jadeite so prized? Well, one of the reasons jadeite is so prized for jewellery is what is referred to as its water content in, Chine in, Chine in, uh, sorry, in Chinese. Its crystalline structure enables ray of light to penetrate the stone easily, to reflect and refract light. This translucency makes it look as if there's water inside the stone itself, which is what makes jadeite so special. Have you heard us before talking about aqua, ice, snow? Aqua is the finest translucency. 
This is aqua jade. It literally looks, it's referring to its translucency and its water content. Reading on, what does jade symbolize? Well, the stone itself, prized by scholars and collectors for centuries, jade has traditionally symbolized purity, knowledge, and righteousness, as well as protection. Many still believe that the stone protects its wearer from harm and pr promotes wealth. Um, I love that meaning, and that's why I actually wanted to buy, uh, buy my niece the first one. I was like, it's protective. She was learning how to drive. She's passed now. So I was like, it's a nice stone to actually gift, um, you know, because she's got a set of wheels now. It's important to check that the jade eye is, has not been treated. It must be natural, untreated. No not necessarily from Burma. This article was obviously written prior to the uh, rediscovery. Um, you also have to take into account other considerations such as color, translucency, and size. I agree. Those three factors, color, that's the best color at Olmec I've seen. The finest color. So much so you would go, okay, that's so good. I'm going to check to see if it's treated because if that's been polymer impregnated, Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's totally natural. It has got a very... What, imperial colour, did you say? Yeah. Translucency. Translucency is what we were discussing a few moments ago. It's the water content of the jade itself. That is so gemmy. You've heard that, uh, that, that uh, um, topic before, haven't you? That's the gemmy water translucency. I'm about to show you a couple of high goos that are far more opaque than yours. Much, much, much more opaque. But there's the haigu symbol. And I'm gonna tell you what that means as well. In Chinese culture, jade is a spiritual stone with significant meaning, um, except for its uh, meaning, except for its durability and its role as a gemstone and beautiful adornment. Chinese people have loved jade jewellery since ancient times. They believe that wearing jade jewellery can bring good luck to the wearer and protect the wearer from harm and negativity. Ping An Ku is believed to bring good health, peace and safety to its owner. The shape uh, of a safety clasp is simple, a convex or plump disc with a round hole in the centre. You've sometimes heard this referred to not just as Ping An Ku but as Hai Gu um, or Pai. That's another reference as well. But is, uh, it is this simple shape that contains the wisdom of ancient Chinese um, and is still used today. Within the actual hole in the centre, they believe it, ha it contains that ancient Chinese mysticism. Um, amazing. So you've got that incredible belief as well. The protection um, and the wisdom that's in, uh, is sort of believed to be held within your Ping An Ku. Ping An Ku is also very popular nowadays. There are different types of Ping An Ku in almost every place where jewellery is, is sold. The Chinese love jadeite, so jadeite made Ping An Ku is more popular with the public. People usually wear uh, jadeite as a jewel to protect themselves from evil and remains auspicious. Chinese carvings are based on the material of the raw, sorry, of the jade raw materials and are combined with traditional um, furai, I think furi elements. What's that? For a, for a elements whereby the engraver is encrusted um, with a wonderful wish for jade and a good blessing for the owner itself. So you can get your ping an kus, your high goos or your pies which are actually carved. We've had them before. This one is sort of your classic ping an ku, which is all about the actual shape itself. Do you know, it's not just as simple as like a donut. It has to have like the same, the right proportions to be a ping an ku as well. In Chinese culture, Ping An Ku is said to bring good health, peace, and safety to its owner. These classic beauties are also believed to protect the wearer from harm and negativity. Get them now for a healthy and peaceful year. How lovely is that? So when you gift something like jade, you know, if you gift jade, then you obviously you're going to want to educate the recipient if they don't know what they're getting. Um, so for example, you know, when I gift this to my niece, who really is enthusiastic about gemstones as well, I'm going to make sure she knows what this actually means. This is a ping an ku. It's believed to, you know, protect you. Jade protects you, but it'll protect you from negativity. It's also going to be, uh, believe to bring you uh, wealth um, and good health. All those beliefs, having that story behind it as well. Just to put it into perspective, jewelry makers, not only are you getting one of the world's rarest gemstone that is currently not being mined because of that discovery of the ancient Mayan king's mask. Go to Liberties of London. 
where you can get a single nylon cord bracelet. Can I just say it? That's an actual ripoff. It's disgraceful, that price. I love liberties, but £95 for a cord bracelet. It's like, it's probably a gold-plated silver spacer. We'd probably sell that for, what do you reckon, a few quid? That's terrible, £95. I'm just being honest. What? What's that? Shapeless bracelet cord in dark green. Don't tell me that's... How much? £105. And that's brass. Not exactly the, the, the best description. Shapeless, is it? No, and I'm also... That put me off. There are, who's buying these? <laughs> Would you pay 105 quid for that? Our pre-order price is more than fair then. But we're not stopping there, don't we? Don't panic. We have just crossed the 50% of your stock being purchased. Not allocated, confirmed. 102 confirmations. That means I've got 98 left. Jadeite on cord. Traditional. No metal, no gold. Here you go. That looks like Mason K, yeah? So, green jadeite, jade disc, circle necklace. $2,250. They've literally Lark's head knotted that. Yeah, Lark's head knotted it. It's not a high goo, it's just a circle, basically. So we can also show you, yeah, that, that's a high goo. That's a high goo. 540 pounds, dollars. Pardon, that's Burmese, not Olmec. Not Olmec. It's lovely, but it's literally on, it's not great. 540 dollars. This is natural the tealest of Olmec. These are all one of a kind items. Right, okay, so a green jadeite pie disc, so we reference that. Pie, high goo, um, they all mean the same thing, basically. They're very protective. They also believe that um, these were often placed on the uh, chest and waist of our deceased uh, loved ones because they believed that they would keep us communicated because another meaning uh, keep you communicating together because uh, jade means heavens so they believe it obviously uh, that hole in the center is how you communicate to your lost loved ones so there's that additional meaning behind the actual haigu itself as well um, or rather the pie the pie is more towards the sort of chest and waist and keeping you communicated to your lost loved ones and um, because i believe you can actually yeah contact one another through there that's the ancient chinese beliefs i love all these meanings um amazing so here's another piece a pie disc 340 dollars wow yes again i'm a bit i'm a bit i'm a bit underwhelmed with that one and it's not massive either is it a beaded bracelet, nice macrameing, nice and neat macrame, yeah, okay, $390. That's not bad, I can see that price tag with that one. That's not bad, I don't think that's astronomical, because you've got red in there, you've got some lovely yellows too. You can see that jade and cord is a traditional thing, a traditional thing. Haven't seen any Olmex. Why is that? Well, Olmec makes up less than 20% of the Burmese uh, offerings on an annual basis. Also, it was announced, I think it was at the beginning of the year, that the Olmec mine is currently closed. The reason it's closed is because of the discovery of that Guatemalan Mayan king mask. And I don't know, I'm no archaeologist, but I know they don't work very fast, do they? They've got the little dainty brushes. So who knows when it is, when or even if it's going to be open. If you find that there's discovery surrounding the mine, then it might not reopen at all. Um, so here it is. When was this? What date was that? Do we know? January. There you go. Literally January this year it happened. Stunning jade mask found inside the tomb of a mysterious Mayan king. So this is a civilization we know very, very little about. 
Um, archaeologists stunned by Mayan death masks found inside the tomb of long lost great king. The mask, uh, that was in March, this, uh, this article was actually published. The mask belonged to one of the Maya, uh, Maya's longest ruling kings and reveals much about the ancient civilization's beliefs around the afterlife. So this is hugely historic, massively historic, but it does also impact how we get this gemstone, our supply of this gemstone. We have not bought any, any Guatemalan jade for at least half a year at least but again let's talk about sort of the different locations of, of jade you've got some of it coming up with your quartzite jade but firstly of course it was nephrite it was your kotan then of course it was burmese jade which this gentleman that i'm about to show you his name was stanley chu stanley chu and his family uh, were actually wholesalers initially until of course the announcement of the enclosure of the Burmese mine therefore he said right okay well I'm not going to be a wholesaler anymore I'm going to set up my own jewelers which is what he's done um, and he says about Guatemala and we actually asked him about Guatemalan jade the Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma grade and is beginning to be priced as such there is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market top jade is top jade so what he's saying there is it doesn't matter about the origin it doesn't matter where as long as it's jade I, um, you know, it, top jade, sorry, um, it's all commanding that high prices. Um, this material is the best investment because it's still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. He goes on then to say, a lot of Chinese jade miners now mining in Central America. Well, they were, they're not now, not since January because that mass was discovered. Um, this has the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. Those words need to stick with us. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia, um, as it is also listed as Fei Chi. Fei Chi is the water content. They're talking about that wonderful translucency, um, which is historically reserved exclusively for only Burma. Not anymore. And if you want to look at translucency, you can see in that photograph, they're shining a light through it. Um, how deeply the light penetrates the jade refers to, show, demonstrates how high the water content is. I described this the other day. In fact, and it came from Dave. It is a Daveism. So if you imagine you open the boot of your car and you were to throw a load of footballs in that boot and there'd be lots of gaps between those footballs, wouldn't it? So that'd be quite a rough translucency. That'd be very coarse. Um, more, more, not even snow. So almost like rocks, I suppose. Then you were to do the same, uh, same thing, but with tennis balls. You get more tennis balls in there. Um, they're nicely cl closely compact together. You've got less gaps in between. So you're talking about a finer translucency there. But if I were to do that same activity, but this time with seed beads. <laughs> My word. Imagine filling your boot with seed You'd beads. You'd need your vacuum. You certainly would. <laughs> then you're talking about Fei Chi. Then you're talking about fine water content because there's no room for gaps. There's no room for opacity. It's, that's the difference between your footballs and your seed beads in that amazing translucency. I hope that makes sense. This is impeccable translucency. As you can all probably guess, we're all pretty excited about this. And I fully expect to see a lot of our, our Gemporia colleagues on the call screens. I, I've confirmed already on pre-order. I've, I've got mine on pre-order. And I didn't make the same mistake as I did last time. I didn't just get one. One minute to graphics. If you shop with us on the phone, I would strongly advise you being quick. Otherwise, you're going to get caught up in a queue and I can't guarantee. You know that we are already in double figures from the 200 that we first launched. Look at that beautiful water content. Look at the translucency of your old mech. That, the depth of color is unlike anything I've ever seen. And the deeper the color, the more valuable the Guatemalan jade actually is. It's totally natural. Plus you've got your pingang, uh, pingangku, um, your pie or your haigu meaning behind this symbolism. It is often ref uh, used alongside cord. It's traditional to actually be used alongside your cord um yeah and, I, and we've lifted the cap so it was that it was like five per customer you can get as many as you wish jewelry makers um it's absolutely gorgeous i love it the quality i mean it's, i couldn't we could make we, a lot of us can do macrame my macrame wouldn't look like that 
There's no way my macrame would look like that. Good luck, because the graphics are about to appear. It's open. It's one size fits all as well. The one we showed earlier on with the brass. Let's call it 100 quid, freezer mat. Ours is 10 times more valuable than that. Yeah, easily. That's where we're at right now. Yeah, easily. More than 10 times more valuable. Absolutely, because that's a bit of cord and a bit of brass. 999 is, is not our price, but it's actually <laughs> in the market. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Another thing is it's one size fits all. Yeah. You don't have to worry if you're yeah. lifting it because with the slider. You've got the one slider size. there. That's what Linda's referring to right now. So it's super simple to get on. Super, super, super simple to get on. It's literally just a sliding cord. Can you see that? And you can do it on the other side. I've bought three. I would have got more, but I was like, don't be cheeky, Al. Don't push it. <laughs> if I had 500, I'd probably buy more. But I wanted to keep it fair. I wanted to be fair for everyone. Um, it's true. If we didn't even have the high goo, if we didn't have the, um, of the pie disc itself, and it was just literally the rounds, just a couple of those rounds. At the price that we're going to, it'd still be amazing. It would still be amazing. They're six mil. The perfect saturation, perfectly color matched as well. All that lovely history and meaning behind it. And we're not stopping at 999. We showed you that piece that we're all very underwhelmed with. $340, one of a kind. How about we bring you then the whole bracelet? Let's do the whole thing, the whole piece of jewellery for less than that price. £299. You try and find anywhere that will bring you the quality, and this is really important, the quality of the Guatemalan jade. Yeah, and genuine. The first time that we have ever brought you this design in Olmec jade, which we I would have never even entertained, Ross. Because you've got to remember, high, uh, Guatemalan jade forms much smaller than Burmese jade, or did. Um, so, actually, you think how much rough would have been needed to actually create these. Plus, remember, it's also not it's not coming being extracted from the from the ground. Do you want to see the? Yeah, how? That's the thing. I know it's different locations. That's by neither here nor there. Top jade is top jade. Remember what Stanley said. Look at the quality of your amazing Guatemalan jade. And I love that photograph that you're, uh, that you're about to see. I love this photograph. However, it's not as good a, a, a jade as what you've got. Yours is a better colour. Look at that. Look at the difference. Which would you choose? Which would you choose? I know which one I choose. Which would you choose, Linda? Well, straight away, it's, it's got to be on the left, doesn't it? It's yeah. an absolute total. Um, no decision, really, as such. No thought process. It's got to be the one on the left. Do you absolutely. know another way of uh, um, assessing how good a um, translucency your jade is? It should look like a melting ice cube. You know when you're an ice cube literally just starts to go glossy on the outside and the water, yeah? You can really see that melting ice, ice cube quality in this. I'm gonna wish you all the best of luck. I had 200, I wish I had more. Because the next price crash is still not where we are closing. Over. Well over 50% of the stock has gone. But you need to start getting your skates on, says Roscoe, because this next price crash is where the phone lines and where the web starts getting, uh, yeah, getting a bit frenzied. I think a lot of you were thinking here. I wouldn't, you know, we've already just shown you. We've shown you Mason and Kay. We, we could go to all the auction sites. We could go to First Dibs, couldn't we? You try and find quality jade like this, boom, uh, not, not, sorry, Guatemalan jade with this translucency in a finished beautiful piece of jewellery with all that meaning and symbolism at £99 and 99 pence. You try and find anywhere. 
We are no way near done, jewelry makers. I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't do that many hours last month. So I couldn't afford three at this price. However, we're not stopping there. I gave no hints on the price. Gillian texted in and she said, will it be on split pay, please? Gillian, you don't need your split pay. Incredibly, we have a threshold for split pay. We don't always pay attention to it, but we do have a threshold. 69.99 is our split pay threshold. We're going below that. A minute clock and the price is gonna dramatically change. The first time that we're ever bringing you your Olmec Type A, Olmec Jade I, I Goo. First two that we brought you sold out in your Burmese Jade. Lovely, don't get me wrong, I bought that one too. But I prefer this. You have your six Olmec rounds of color match quality, of translucency match quality, and then you have the beautiful carved haigu. All the meanings behind that shape as well. Not just the, the meaning of the gem, which we know it's protective, don't we? But again, jade I, actually translates in Chinese to heavens. You know, that in itself. But then the actual shape has got the added meaning too. Good luck, everybody, because in 10 seconds, we're going down to your dealer day price tag. This is going to be what I always refer to as a one auction wonder. Good luck. Split pay. Minimum, just showing you. We have to stagger this auction. If we don't stagger it, we'll crash everything, and I will not be popular. Do you know how many people have got it in their baskets right now? 262 people. A minute clock, that's not your price. If I don't stagger this auction, I'll crash, we'll crash the web and we'll crash the phone lines and nobody's popular then. Good luck, everyone. Dagmar, Patricia, Norma, Elizabeth, Cumbria, Amory, Nor another Norma, Aloma, Patricia, Tracy, Ruth, Jane, Janice, hello to you, uh, Margaret, David, Susan, Davinia, Deborah, Kirsty, Cheryl, um, Eleanor in Worcestershire, uh, Janice, well done to you. Oh, there we go, there's the first member of the staff. I won't shout out their name just in case I'm, uh, I'm getting them in trouble for not being doing their work. <laughs> um, <laughs> 20 seconds before we take it to your deal of the day price tag. Yeah, I can see I can see two members of staff. There's probably more. Um, well done. Make sure you're checking out your basket. So many names, honestly. There's the, the call screens is completely chocker blocker. We're at your split pay threshold. You don't need that though. Good luck. in Guatemalan jade it it's so much rarer than even your Burmese jade Burmese jade forms for, formed I should say past tense in much larger scales than what your Guatemalan jadeite did so to be able to bring you this amazing gemstone um, from this location with everything that's going on in the location at the moment to bring you in this perfection and this quality I mean it is ultimately I've never seen Guatemalan jade with that translucency they have said it it was one of those I've seen lovely Guatemalan jade don't get me wrong but this is some of the finest translucent Guatemalan jade um, that I've brought to wear and it's all totally and utterly natural Heather's got five um kirsty in australia's got four um ken's got three kaz's multi-bought jerry's multi-bought dagmar's multi-bought aloma's multi-bought samantha's multi-bought janice's multi-bought i've multi-bought um london's multi-bought i can't keep up with you jewelry makers every time i read the look up at the call screen it moves hillary's multi-bought well done So many multi-buyers getting involved. From 200, we are down to 53 available opportunities. You can still do it, but you need to be quick. You do need to be quick. Have you got yours, Ross? He's got his, he says. He's got his. You only got one. Oh, don't make me feel bad. 
I mean, how unbelievable. £49.99. Um, if your name is Lynn in Somerset, Linda in Devon, Jeanette in Lincolnshire, Helen in Yorkshire, Cheshire, Jean, Kirsty, Elizabeth, Aloma, Cornwall, Karen, Jacqueline, Maker, Fiona, Gillian, you need to be checking out your basket, jewellery makers. An amazing piece, an uber rare piece. Not $340, not £105 for something that is basically, um, that is basically base metal on a bit of cord you've got the rarity of your of your uh guatemalan jade out of that quality look at all the multi buyers and you do disappear off like my name for example has disappeared off the bottom of the screen pardon did anybody expect us to close at 49 pounds and 99 pence in all honesty or were you expecting it to be 299 I think maybe oh, Ross is saying he thinks people would have he thinks people would have expected ninety nine ninety nine, and that would be amazing, absolutely unbelievable. Nobody would say forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence, and you'd be right because that's not what we're closing. Linda might have been keeping something from you and everybody that's watching. He's a tinker, isn't he? 49 pounds and 99 pence is still not your final deal of the day price. How about if I told you that maybe for about just over 10%, just over 10% of that dreadful high goo that we showed earlier on, how about if we take this to not far off 10% of that price? Does that make sense? Heather, if you bought five of these, $1,700. Heather, and everybody else that has already confirmed, 50% of your purchases have all multi-bought, myself included. And you've multi-bought at 49.99, but we're not stopping there. We're going even lower. 163 of you still have this in your basket. I'm just going to keep everything crossed for you. All the meaning behind the ping and coo, all the meaning behind the the the, the high goo or the pie disc, whichever, and the meaning behind the beautiful jade as well. Whether it be Guatemalan, whether it be uh, um, Burmese, whether it be Khotan, the actual meaning of jade is the same. Same with your quartzite jade. It's incredibly uh, protective, that's what they believe. But then the shape itself, first time ever bringing it to you though in the Guatemalan variety. It's the best I've seen. You can see that melting ice cube, beautiful water translucency. Um, in a minute, we're going to your deal of the day price tag. The reality is we could possibly sell out before that. I think so, Roscoe. Because you think, look at the core screens. Kaz has just bought three. Janice has just bought two. Jane just bought two. That's just gold cords, yeah. Do you wanna get close? See, just, just literally woven gold cord in between. It's so beautiful. Six, six millimeter rounds. The high goo of your Guatemalan. Love that gold thread. Love it. That's true, actually. If you ever, if they say, actually, if ever you break jade, it's the only gemstone they will physically glue together with gold because it's that valuable. You've got your slider bracelet here as well. It's all done for you. The macrame, I could never macrame that neatly. But again, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Jewelry makers, good luck. Less than 50 remain. I've got the final 25%. Everybody pays the final low, whether you were the first person or you're the very last person to make your confirmation. Um, Kevin's got two. Kaz, Samantha's got two. Elizabeth's got two. Linda and Kent's got four. Laura's got two. Elaine's got two. Like I said, over 50% of you have actually multi-bought. £39.99 pence only. You didn't need the split pay, Julian. See? You didn't need that split pay. The phone lines have gone crazy. 200 
was awesome. Look, we're talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones. That's an unbelievable quantity. But the reality is, for the demand, it it would have been nice to see 500 of these, you know? But it's, yeah, it couldn't be. We've got to remember, we have not bought any Guatemalan jade for over six months, probably even longer than that, to be truthful. Um, the mine is closed, and we do not know when it's going to open up again. Um, so, Linda, you said earlier on that you want 11. I haven't got them yet. Need to get a wriggle on then. I'll wait and see how we close. Not on price, on a, on amount. Um, well, they're going to sell out. They are going yeah. to sell out. Well, do you know what? I'd rather you guys have them than me. Bless you. You got yours, Ross, haven't you? We're not alone. I know one of the G, uh, JM admin teams got theirs as well. I've seen their screen, uh, their f name on the call screens. Of course, you know, how beautiful. We went to Mason and Kay, who only do jade. They do jade, that's their thing. You can find a simple, it's not even a pie or a high goo, it's a disc, effectively. 2,250. Do you know what that, what is amazing about that piece is the water content. It's lovely and translucent. So you've got a lovely translucent piece to there. That's why it's four figures. But yours is amazingly translucent. And it's not four figures. It's under 50 quid. In fact, it's under 40 quid. This will sell out today, jewelry makers. Well done. I knew you'd love it as much as we do here. And um, we all got a little bit excited about this. You know, we, I think we've mentioned the fact that it's great for gents, ladies, and, uh, you know, all ages. I love the story behind it. Should we just recap that? How many have we got? That's left. So if you are Jenny in Nottinghamshire, who wants two? June in West Midlands, who wants three? Cheshire, who wants two? Um, Norma's just snapped up two, well done. If you are Anne and East Sussex and Laura or Lisa or Helen or Jean or Elizabeth or Aloma or Karen or, or Jacqueline or Fiona or new customers, if you've got it sat in your basket, we are not like ASOS. We are not like ASOS. You have to check out. You can always add to your order. It's one post and packaging all day. Get it home. You have a 30 day money back guarantee. Not that I think for one second you'll be returning this. If you see your name on this side of the call screen, it is not guaranteed to you yet. Somebody as like Norma and Jenny have done could very easily just literally go, okay, leapfrogging you. I'm gonna get 20 of those. Remember Linda wants 11. We started with 200. We're down to the final 10%. If Linda decides to go in and get hers, you've got 10. If you are Maker, June, Anne, Lisa, Helen, see Helen, bids too, we have, you need to check out. Another Maker, Cheshire, look at all the multi bids. You need to be checking them out, otherwise they will sell out. Suja, well done. Jenny, Margaret in Dorset's just got three. It's gonna be an on-screen sellout. It's going to be literally what I call a one-show wonder. Um, because there'll be members of staff that will be snapping up the final few of those. I'm quite, I, you know, I'd like to up my quantity. But, you know, first dibs and all that. Obviously, Linda, you go first. No, no, no. Is it, no, I'll, I'll, if there's any left, I'll have the remainder. What just a lovely me. gift, though, that meaning. Can we just, can we just re recap just quickly the meaning behind it, the protective meaning of this actual That's shape? That's why I want them for my granddaughters yes. and my nieces. Move forward a little bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah. In Chinese culture, jade is a spiritual stone with significant meaning except for its durability and its role as a gemstone and a beautiful adornment. Chinese people have loved jade jewellery since ancient times. They believe that wearing jade jewellery can bring you good luck uh, to the wearer and protect the wearer from harm and negativity. Ping An Ku is believed to bring good health. That's the shape we're talking about now. Uh, peace and safety to its owner. The shape of the safety class, uh, so I don't know why they call it a safety class, is simple, a con uh, convex or plump disc with a round hole in the center. But it is this simple shape that contains the wisdom of ancient Chinese mysticism and is still used today. Um, if you want to talk about the haigu, the haigu, which is the same, and again, proportions are really important. Um, the haigu itself is believed to help you uh, stay in contact with our lost loved ones. Again, lots of meanings behind this one shape and, and I love all that I think it's absolutely fascinating and there's a story um, we've right reached the 10 the final 10 
one minute and i'm going to move on from this jewelry makers so um 10 available that's it once they're gone they're gone you can always wish list it of course our call center will give you a call june if you want those three i would check them out lovely i've got 10 left manchester you've got yours all around the world we've got holland we've got australia i've seen shopping with us as well usa shopping too and obviously the uk now i'm in single figures single figure quantities remain you can't get 11 linda you might be able to get eight as it stands i'll get as many as there are left yes definitely samantha in coventry's just got hers well done samantha linda in kent's on the phone lines you can do it linda Merseyside, press your option one key. You will leapfrog everybody that's got it in their basket. So it's always allocated on a first come, first serve basis. We can't say any fairer than that, can we? Um, good luck. Good luck, everybody. I hope Lauren's not expecting me to take this off, you know. <laughs> She's going to have to wrestle me. I think me. it's going to be a struggle, yeah. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Final five. I'm going to leave that with you, jewelry makers. Well done. I love it and I think you're going to absolutely love it all the more. It's love. It's beautiful on our screens, but it's even more beautiful in person, isn't it? You know, we've all been excited from the moment that we stepped into the studio this morning. We're like, oh, the deed of the day is amazing. It's got a real physical presence, hasn't it? Yeah. And it's one of those, I think, Linda, that will actually, um, it's a conversation starter, Definitely, isn't it? Definitely, without a doubt. Definitely. Do you remember a story that Steve Bennett told? that he was out to dinner one evening, uh, somewhere really yes, quite I do lovely, know, yeah. about the bangle. Yes. And he saw this bangle, um, jade bangle, on a lady's wrist, and he overcame his reservations, not that he's that reserved, to be truthful, and um, went over and asked her about it, and she told him this, that, and the other, um, and said it was valued at over a million. Yes. Wasn't it? Exactly. Um, and he said he could not take his eyes off the sheer stunning beauty yeah. of his simple bangle. It does, it does draw you, doesn't it? Mm. That's the thing. Jade is a very humble gemstone. Mm. It's not, you know, it's not like the diamond. See, if you were to compare the, the two in personality, a diamond is that flamboyant character. You know, it's like, everybody look at me. Yeah. Mm. Whereas Jade is much more humble, but yet still attracts, you well, know, exactly. it's probably just, more significant. Yes. Than it's, absolutely and you can't take your eyes off it i think yeah. because of its um simplicity but simplistic beauty well done everybody make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines now a couple of weeks ago i was joined by the wonderful dave trough who set, uh, stepped into the studio to explain and to launch the newest variety of jade um, I have a very simple way and I had to ask the question as well I didn't understand it either I was like oh well, hang on a minute I thought Jade was nephrite and nephrite and jadeite I thought that was it and you could get them from a few different locations around the world so I don't understand is this just like another gem that's been loosely described as jade you know like maybe um, they quite often refer to chalcedony as a jade but it's not an actual jade it's more of a that, that jeweler or that trader wanting to elevate the perceived value of that gemstone. So I asked these questions too. Um, and it was like, no, actually it's different. Now you don't have to take it from us, but the largest institution in the industry is the Gemological Institution of America. That's who I did my uh, qualifications with. The GIA, um, I'll call this, a, well not call it, hi, have broadcast the fact that this is the newest variety. So in China, this is a gemstone that has only just been born into the jade family. Now this is my, my way of making this, I've got quite a simple brain, but if you imagine, if you imagine 10,000 years ago, there's the oldest sibling, Nephrite. Nephrite and Nephrite has got um, amazing history and you you know that this is a jade nephrite jade that's mined along the uh, um, the Khotan River sifted through it forms um, in quite quite small boulders in actual fact but then fast forward thousands and thousands of years to 800 years ago in a location called, of, called Burma another gemstone is discovered now this gemstone is actually far rarer far younger as well but it's the new sibling to the family and that's a jadeite. Now, jadeite, gemologically, is different to nephrite. 
They have different chemical compositions, but it's the newest member of the jade family. And I can imagine at the time there was much resistance to it. They were saying, oh, no, 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 no. Jade is nephrite, isn't it? Well, actually, no. Jade is also jadeite. So you've got the two siblings. Fast forward to the current day, well, a few years ago, a new jade was born, and that is your quartzite jade. If you go to China, they will not refer to it as quartzite jade. They just refer to it as jade. In the same way that if you go to China, they won't refer to your nephrite jade as nephrite or your Burmese jade as jadeite. It's jade. Jade, that's it. Because we here at Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia go, okay, well, this is natural. They probably want, you know, natural treatment. This is the location of origin. We've almost made it more difficult for ourselves. Does that make sense? So we say, well, this is that variety of jade. So we will actually split them out. Now, it is rare and it's incredibly valuable. So the GIA write about this and again, Take in the words that they use. This is not, this is the GIA. A green-blue quartzite produced in the King Long uh, deposit in southwestern, I'm not going to try, Giz, pardon? Gizhu province, excuse my pronunciation, um, is called Gizhu Jade in the trade. The source area is located in the middle of the Yunnan Gizhu Plateau, um, and it talks about where it is, sea levels, etc. This material was discovered in the 1950s. Um, and the deposits were economically more important to the area. The accompanying blue quartzite was only commercially mined as a decorative material. Later, it was used as a gem material and has been popular in Chinese jade markets since about 2011. So we could bring this to air as Gaizu Jade. You've got that amazing transparency, but that's the GIA there saying in the jade markets, a type of jade. It's, it's so important, and I know that some, I do appreciate it, because like Dave said the other day, and he's, he's, I'll be honest, he's met some resistance with this. He's like, look, it's not me saying that this is a new variety of jade. This is the jade industry saying this is the newest variety of jade. And it's almost like, don't shoot the messenger. This is, what, this is what's happening in the, in the gem trade right now. They go on to say, high quality Gaizu jade, which is this that I have before me, is rich in colors and loved by collectors. It has been widely used in necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and other items. High quality Gaizu jade. That's the GIA. They don't say high quality Gaizu quartzite. They say Gaizu jade. Um, jade is the surname. Nephrite's the sibling, the oldest. Jadeite's the middle sibling. Quartzite is the youngest. I'm bringing you today, jewelry makers, a strand that for some unbeknown reason was not launched on that day with Dave. I don't know how, whether it slipped through the net, but this is the largest carrot weight that we have in, the in, uh, in this collection. Remember what we were talking about with your Guatemalan jade? Top jade is top jade, that, that, that Stanley Chu said. Here's Stanley with Dave, and he's talking about a variety of jade. It doesn't really matter where. The sculpture is 10 million US dollars and many of the jades on my booth are not for sale right now because we are aware that we can never replace them. But can you see just over Dave's shoulder <clears throat> that glowing green? I forget how much he said it was, but it was multiple millions. Multiple, multiple millions. Can you see the glow? That's what you're talking about, Linda. It's the glow that's bewitching. You can't take your eyes off it. Now, whatever the color, whether it's imperial white, which you have in your Gaizu Jade, whether um, it's the greens, whether it's those blues that you also saw photographed, this is the most popular shape that we've ever commissioned in any variety of jade. It's coming up, but I want to give everybody a heads up that this brand new piece, 70 available, is on the horizon. Dave's going to be distraught that he didn't play it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I'm just looking, can we read that? Because that's important. So this is again, not my words, this is Stanley's. Stanley Chu, who by the way, um, is like a guru in the Jade world. He says, much of what we are selling here at the show is the newer jades, like Dulong and Gold Silk. Um, because the market is looking for the best investment, that's why the price of pearls has gone through the roof. Um, so does that make sense? People are looking for an amazing investment. So they're chasing pearls, they're, put, they're chasing their jades. The property market here in Asia is collapsing and investors are turning to gems to store wealth. This imperial color in a bangle would be 12 million US dollars. He's obviously talking about one of the uh, bangles that you saw on the actual launch. Plus, if it was from Burma, uh, and so investors are looking at the newer jades um, in the best color because they know what will happen, i.e. they know that the price is gonna go up moving forward. Judging by this show, by September, I feel uh, the gap with the new jades, i.e. your quartzite jades, um, and the older jades, i.e. your nephrite and your jadeite jades, will begin, begin to close. And uh, with pearls, it happened with one show. It's about being there in the right time. There's just something magical about it, isn't there? It is that glow. Another hugely influential individual in the jade world and really these these are the individuals that we've learned all the information from is bernard the purity of top stones is certainly finer than any other jade but the rarity of such rough is the biggest challenge because bernard source uh, uh sources most of our our jades whatever the location uh, when they write of material reaching the fine texture of chalcedony, like this parcel that you're about to see, it is the material that has risen too much in value because it is the finest water of all jade. These stones are completely different to normal golden silk that we can procure for you. Um, with that material, you are competing with the big players who will pay very high prices so few stones ever come like this. He's talking about this parcel, right? Um, these stones, that's right, because it started off with the actual stone, didn't it, from the King Long. These stones are not about color, but are solely valued on their compression. Remember we were talking about the gaps between the tennis mm -hmm. balls, gaps between the footballs, gaps between the seed beads. So about their compression, so pure, no coarse moments at all. And as a result, they literally seem to glow or emit a soft internal glow. Of the three quartzite jades, this is the highest quality, and we have only these few opportunities from the studio, a carving and a bangle. Well, originally that's what we started with. Today, we have bangles, carvings, and strands. This one that you're looking at, there's 70 available coming up. So hopefully we, uh, we've explained it as best we possibly can now last week with dave we launched the rounds with dave every single one of them i've got single figure quantities left with so if you are a jade collector you need to be quick on these um if you remember at the oh, i do remember the yes at the very beginning of the show dave made an announcement i do I almost don't want to say it just in case I say it wrong. <clears throat> yeah, I, thank you. I'm glad. For, thank you for confirming because I was always uh, like, no, I, it, he didn't say that, did he? It is too good to be true. See this amazing strand? And everything else in your strands under £100. Not everything, because we've got bangles. The bangles are double figures. So go back to what Stanley was saying about being the best investment. The best investment. So there are different types of your quartzite jade. This is the best grade that we've ever seen because of that 
fine crystal structure. What on earth? How? And remember that bangle we showed of quartzite jade that was one thousand six hundred dollars. The same variety. That was Doolong, but it's a quartzite jade. Not bad for a bangle, absolutely. Ollie, we've just price promised bangles for under a hundred pounds. Yeah, this is amazing. Starting with the round single figure quantities. Can I ask Dan, see that very dark na uh, navy blue bust? Can you pass me one of those? Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Um, because I, I refuse to put something as value as this just over the back of my hand. Thank you, darling. Um, okay, starting with the largest quartzite jade in jewelry maker history. We've never had this size before. Um, 12 millimeters, there's just seven of these left. Good luck. You'll need to be super quick checking out your baskets. As Stanley was saying, yes, um, they are the greatest investment of your newer jades. They're predominantly what he is selling the most of at the moment because obviously we've seen it with pearls, haven't we? You know, uh, uh, the situation of the property market over in China, people are looking to invest in gemstones that we know will, well, go in one direction. I'm not a financial mm -hmm. advisor. I have to be careful on air. But what I would say outside of these studios is exactly that, you know, um, it's a solid purchase. Um, Laura in Suffolk, well done, not leaving anything to chance. So hopefully we have explained the difference. You have nephrite, the older sibling, jadeite the middle, and you have quartzite jade as the youngest. The finest parcel of quartzite jade that we've ever had, jewelry makers, in your 12 mils. Again, you know, you know it's going to double figures, not that. This is why we should be having gold clasps. You don't have to. That's a joy of jade. It's actually, I remember the Haigu conversation, it's often actually associated with the cord and cord only. 99 pounds and 99 pence. These are the largest size that we have in any of your quartzite jade. What on earth? Not will be closed. I've got a dreadful memory, you know. The largest quartzite jade in jewelry maker history. And Dave didn't stop here. I thought he said everything was under 100. I remembered that. I've got five left. You'll need to be quick on this one. Goodness me. Down to four. Well done, Karen. Well done, Lorna. Well done to you. Another Karen. Well done to you, Maker. It was a huge show with Dave. Um, and you've got your split pay there as well. So you can get this home today for £34.99. I've got just two left. You can do it, but you need to be quick. Again, that lovely water content. Remember what Bernard was saying there? Um, it's about that lovely translucency. But also remember what Stanley was saying. Top jade is top jade, whatever the location. Um, translucency and, of course, those beautiful colours. This is what Stanley is actually trading the most, he was saying. It can change overnight, almost from between gem fair and gem fair um and he thinks yeah it's affordable now but do you remember when pearls were affordable do you remember when we could bring you pearls at an affordable price 380 carats the last one who's gonna get it because i've got elizabeth deborah i've got new customer and tape maker there each bead is what 10 carats wow you know if you were in china and i've been two or three times to china i love it um, first of all, I, I went there sort of for jewellery maker on the business trip and then I loved it so much. Uh, I said to my husband, we've got to go. So we went and the prices, and this is going back just before COVID, and the prices for yeah. jade of, of any location any yeah. was a lot more in China than what we're doing now. Absolutely. A lot more. Absolutely. Let's do the 10 mil. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? I've only got eight left. They're all single figures, so you need to be quick. Karen and Fife not leaving anything to chance. Trust in the process, knowing that these are going to be at an amazing jewelry maker deal. So again, you know, we can only, if, look, if, you, if you're like, no, okay, I'm not accepting of it being a variety of jade, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, look, for me, there's no greater authority than the GIA. And the fact that GIA actually mentioned that too, as well as Stanley, as well as Bernard. I understand 
Um, that's what it's our job to pass on those messages of what's going on in the industry. You know we're not stopping there, don't you? You know we're going even lower. Um, 12 millimeters sold out, 69 pounds and 99 pence. I've got six left of the 10 mils. You can get them today. What on earth? It was a crazy show though. Some of the big, was it? The biggest courtside jade show that we've ever had. These are the very last of stock opportunities. 49 pounds and 99 pence. Do you know, can you, just to put this into perspective and, uh, and I'll try and, yeah. Can you imagine? We were there, not necessarily on its discovery, but we were there when you could get hold of Brazilian paper tourmaline at an affordable price tag. Can you imagine? Do you, can you imagine? And can you imagine how much that would be worth now? That's the difference. Well, I was just thinking something along similar lines there. I thought, you know, today is the first day of history, really. It's the first day of the future as well, because we know historically what is happening to Jade, Jade, I don't know, right, whatever. Um, and we know that the pool for it is getting smaller and smaller yes. and smaller. And not just the fact that it's being mined out, but also, you know, political influences mm -hmm. and all sorts of things we're at the mercy of. So consequently, on today's stage, you can look back on today in, say, two, three, four, five years time and think, gosh, I wish I'd have done oh, that. Exactly. This is the thing. And, and I'm going to use, take, use an, another um, sort of guru in the gem world is Richard Wise. He was saying, if you see something you love and you can afford it, get it. Because yeah. everything changes overnight. Yeah. We have eight, six and four millimetres to bring you now as well. Starting with the eight jewelry makers. I mean, I'd literally just knock that. Yeah, you're right. If you see something that you love, get it. If you can afford yeah, it, get it. Exactly. Because things change overnight in terms of the price points. And m I think no more so than with your jade varieties. You know we're not stopping there. Karen, well done, lovely. You're playing this exactly right. Literally getting in, checking out nice and early, knowing that, of course, you'll get the most amazing price tag. Yeah, 12 to 10 minutes, 8 mil. Yeah, just graduating. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got single figure quantities in 10 seconds. We're going even lower. But look at that water content. Remember, melting ice cube, beautiful translucency. It's the nicest quartzite jade that we've ever brought you. Also, remember that if I was in China, I would not say quartzite jade. It would be jade. Just end off. Same as I wouldn't refer to uh, nephrite jade as nephrite jade. I would say jade. It's simple. You know, um, what on earth is that price? $39.99. Wow. The new sibling of the Jade family. 10,000 years. Yeah, you. Yeah, Ross is saying, you know, when he... Uh, uh, sorry, not Ross, sorry. <laughs> Ollie's just saying when he was on Jewelry Maker, what, four months ago, full time, you'd have put a one in front of that. 100%. 100%. But this was the deal that Dave negotiated for you. And he announced, you know, everything, uh, double figures. Uh, but we were never imagining it would be under £50. I wouldn't have even entertained double figures, to be honest, Roscoe. But under £50 is just a joke. Um, Keith, Karen, well done. Catherine, and I've got another Carol there as well. Make sure you check it out, your baskets. I've only got five available opportunity. And do you know what? I've got, this is how my mind works. And I often use this with my husband like I will do with the bracelets. I'll say, yeah, but I can get it now. Fast forward two years, mm -hmm. six months, mm -hmm. a week, I might not be able to buy it. This is a, a rare, rare, rare gemstone. Now I've got 10 of your six mil. Yeah, that's true. Ollie's just said, look, it costs you, what, 39 99 let's say £40 for ease of maths. If you wear it for the next decade, £4 a year for a natural gemstone steeped in history and actually one of the most valuable gemstones. I mean, it always has been historically a very valuable gemstone. I've told this little snippet a few times, but when one of the uh, emperor's tombs was discovered in China and obviously opened by archaeologists. 
they found that this emperor had been entombed in a um, jade coffin, sarcophagus, as mm -hmm. it were. And um, as you referred to about jade being mended with gold and that, all the nails were solid, 24 yep. karat gold. And it wasn't the nails that were taken. They it somehow the managed to get the jade out, yeah. Of course. Linda, we're at 49.99. I've got 10 of these. This Six mil is our favorite size, isn't it, here at Jewelry Maker? Now, this is the last of the rounds. Six mils are the smallest. I've got the drums coming your way. Rondelles. And then we've got some carvings to bring you and also the lovely bangles. Oh, my goodness me. There's like an aura. Yeah, it around. glows. We're going lower, jewellery makers. This is not your price. Catherine in Lanarkshire wants two. Denise, you've got yours. And Elizabeth, I have 10 available. I've got people on the phone lines. What on earth, though? What on earth? Seriously, I've got one of those little moments where you go, hang on a minute. We're bringing what is being widely published by the world over in the gem world, widely spoken about some of the most imp by the most influential individuals in the jade world. Stanley Chu, Bernard, you know, the GIA themselves. And we're going, yeah, $24.99. Are we mad? <laughs> Are we actually? Well, we always have been, always yes, will be. So. But it is crazy what we do here at Jewelry Makers. We actively know that this is the newest variety of jade. We actively know that it's commanding the highest price. And here we are going, yeah, let's do that. It's, listen, and then that will never change because that's the whole ethos of this company. If we get a great price, you get a great price. You know, it's about, you know, uh, all of us being able to own the most valuable gemstones in the world. Being there at the right place at the right time. That's how we source most of your gemstones, being there at the right place at the right time. $24.99. And it's what? Lifting the individual, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you've got to remember, you know, Steve joined me the other day for that, for that, um, for the launch of his book. And he was saying that your average apple in the supermarket is 14 months old. That's scary, isn't it? 14 months old. You think how many hands those apples have passed through. Gemstones are, are actually decades, well, if you include, if you include in the ground, it's much longer than that. Um, but they pass through, yeah, about 10, 15 pairs of hands before they actually reach uh, the jewelers, if you like. Now, the last of the strands before you're on your drums, I love this shape. There's only five, so we're gonna do it in one price crash. I love this shape. It absolutely flew. I think this is one of the most popular shapes that we had. Again, totally natural. Quartzite jade. This flew. This would, this should be, <clears throat> this should be, I can't, I can't, I, look, I, I would expect this to be three figures. Do you know what I mean? Look at the carrot weight. 200 carats of natural quartzite jade. Certified, natural, not pollen impregnated, not dyed. It's not type B or type C, natural. Um, we've got Karen there, Carol there, Rupal there, Angela and Cambridge are there. If you all check out, it's sold out already. I have got a couple of the carvings. We only ever actually had a few. There's one left of those, well done. Sold out, congratulations. Now, coming up got 70 of these available I'm very excited about this opportunity um, these beautiful drums this is the biggest carrot weight of the entire parcel traditional shape really showcases the quality of the jade um, coming up but first which one? Oh, this is amazing I can't get my head around this to take imagine this in its boulder it's a boulder you're holding what is effectively like the stone, a stone itself. And then by hand, you carve, not just a loop, but a loop into a loop into a loop. It's the infinity design. Also definitely giving me Celtic vibes, this. Look at that translucency. Can you see the, the silks that we often refer to with, with quartzite jade? Beautiful silks. 
I'm amazed we've still got this available, to be honest. I would, Lark said not. You know, like the traditional pieces that we were talking about during the deal of the day? I would literally just, Lark said not this. It's a large piece as well. It's gorgeous. Hang on. What about this? See if I can do this. Are we at 99.99? And we're nowhere near done. Okay. You've got your split pay there as well. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. That's gorgeous, Elle. You get the idea, don't you? Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? And you've got your three split pays. It's under, under 69.99. I love that. You know it's far too low if that's the case. Good luck, everybody. How many do we have, Roscoe? Nine. Nine available, but these are absolutely flying out. It's, I mean, again, to consider actually carving something like this, a loop into a loop into a loop, and to create that kind of like seamless fluidity. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, the final few of these. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, Dave was saying, because well, I asked him the question, didn't I, Roscoe? I was like, can you get more of this? He's like, not at these prices, no. I can get more, but not at these prices. There'd be no way, no way near. Remember, St we can go to Stanley. We can get more from Stanley himself, but they won't be these prices, for sure. Uh, Angela, Karen, Cambridge, and Maker, Tina, well done. If you check out your basket, this is going to be an on-screen sellout. Let's do the dragon in the year of the dragon. So, if you were born, oh, there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but please bear with our call center. They will get you, I promise. As long as you press your option one, speak to our call center. Right, this is amazing. Now, I do have, okay, at least we're in double figures with this one. Um, there's 14 of these available. It was launched only the other day. Let me just grab my phone a second, because... What do you reckon, Roscoe? Ready? Oh, gosh, that is, that's almost 3D now, isn't it? Let me just pull, if oh, I pull beautiful. my phone backwards. Oh, wrong way. Here we go. Look at that glow. Can you see that water content now? Look how perfect that water content is. How beautiful is that? It's amazing. It's gorgeous. And you can see the dragon just there. Remember, dragons in China, or oh, sorry, in Asia, it's about water, not about fire. We in the West think of dragons as fire, but in uh, Asia, it's about water and abundance. But can I just bear with, and I'm going to dazzle you a little bit with my phone a second. Can you see? I have the script on the reverse as well. Look at that water content now. Now, we have already made a pledge, a price promise, haven't we? under 100 pounds straight away yeah there's the script on the reverse can you see um dave did mention what this is i'm sure it was like peace love prosperity peace love harmony something along those lines that's what it means on the reverse um then on the front can you actually see that beautiful dragon there Next price crash, we're already under £100. We've only ever actually brought you a couple of your quartzite J carvings. There hasn't been that many. Um, what? What? Is that not the most affordable carving we've ever brought to air? And it's going again. Was Dave all right? Looking back on these prices, he, yeah, he must have got a great deal. An unbeatable deal. But that's the thing, Dave gets very uh, um, caught up in the live show, doesn't he? And I know he sometimes like goes afterwards, oh, what do I do? Yeah, he, uh, and afterwards he, can, he kind of like goes, oh, the consequences. Oh, my goodness me. I can't replace it for those prices. We go even lower. This is ridiculous. Again, that should have, that should be three figures. I mean, I can almost almost see you know the carvings that you have where you can see daylight through yeah um i can almost see how feasible that might be to the master carver 
but I have no idea how that can be. That's not etched as such. It's no, it's a, it's a big piece. <coughs> yeah, look at it, how the... Look at it, know, the and thickness it's, of it. it. How, do you, how do you do that? With what sort of a tool do you do that with? How amazing. All that beautiful... Yeah, try it on wood, see if you can do that for 40 quid. This is one of the world's rarest, most desirable gemstones. Out of 4,000 minerals that exist... This is one of the rarest varieties. I mean, how exciting is that? How exciting, especially if this quality, remember what Bernard was saying, the quality, that water content, that Fei Chi, Marie, Louise, Cheshire, Karen, John. And don't forget also something I referenced earlier on this morning, the artistry, the artistry. Because when we're talking jade, whether it's nephrite jadeite, whether it's, uh, whether it's quartzite, whether it's Guatemalan jadeite, whether it doesn't matter about the origin or the variety. When we're talking jade, it's translucency, colour, and in the case of pieces like this, the level of artistry. I mean, the level of artistry, uh, as far as I'm aware, is literally you've got today's artists that are working with uh, carving and illustrations on jade and their father did it and yeah. they taught the son and vice versa all down the generation until you get to the year dot yeah you know and it's it's a artisan trade that is still being done you know with all the technology and that we've got now it's still being done by hand yeah by those artisans but the the only issue is that they don't have the jade to carve so it's very mm. very very limited well done everybody that's ridiculous at 39.99 i love this next piece absolutely love it don't forget your drums are coming up there's something just so appeal i just you just want to touch this it's one of those and jade is one of those gemstones that you should want to touch you should want to hold this is cool if you love the deal of the day look at that as if we're starting at 39 pounds and 99 pence i've got this piece and Have you? Um, yes and um i keep it in my kitchen just below a carving of an oak tree and every single day I see it, this is every single day I see it, and every single day I have to pick it up. And you have to touch it, don't you? Yeah. Do you know, do you know, I'm more into the sort of scientific side of gemstones, although I'm interested in the metaphysical side mm -hmm. of gemstones. I remember Mark also saying that jade is the first gemstone that he physically feels. Drawn to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I almost get, like, when I hold this, it's almost like pins and needles in the yeah, tips yeah, of my there's fingers. An electric you shock physically almost. feel the, the the presence of this gem. Good luck, everybody. I love this piece. That that shape. You could just literally put a diamond in the centre there. Oof. What on earth is that price? That's unbelievable. Lark said not. Literally, wear it on a nice leather cord, like the pieces that we were showing you earlier on. Um, again, you've got that wonderful meaning um, behind the donuts. Donuts is a Western term, definitely. Um, like I said in the East, we discussed it during the deal of the day. How many do we have of these? Nine. Only nine available. These wonderful silky patterns that naturally occur. But there's no good having those silk silks without the translucency of it as well. You can see the glow. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. I've got the quartzite drums still to bring you brand new. Um, 70 available of those. Promise. Price pledged under £100. And we have some of the most affordable um, jade bangles. They're coming up next as well. This is the first time we've ever actually done jade bangles and we've been able to say small, medium and large, which I love. And also double figures too, because normally jade bangles are what? Three, four, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred pounds. So let me just grab these for a minute because they all come boxed. And also I need to establish which one's which. Um, hang on. Small. Yeah, medium, large. Right, okay. So this is a small, which is circular as well. Look at that. These are very limited because this is the most affordable jade bangle we've ever done and most likely ever will do. When you say very limited, Roscoe, all single figures, right, okay. So if you have a petite wrist, then maybe go for the smaller size. Um, it's got a nice, I, I love the circular ones because again, they're much easier to put on. Did they... 
Listen, I was I was there with Dave, and I can't remember him doing forty nine ninety nine. That doesn't sit right. Yeah, we used to do Jade Bangles for four hundred and ninety nine pounds, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Seven nine nine, absolutely. Certainly, the first Guatemalan Jade Bangle was seven nine nine. How many do we have? Gone, gone. Well done. That's the small. Well done. Wish list it, jewelry makers, if you missed out. The medium. I wear the medium size. Um, so I'm going to show you the should be. If you were thinking about gifts, go medium, yeah, middle of the road, I'd probably say. As if we're gifting jade bangles now. What we're about to do on this bangle is embarrassing, says <laughs> Ross. How many do we have, Ross? 11, okay. They won't last though. Okay. As soon as the graphic appear, graphics appear, we're going to put a minute clock on the screen. Kim, Gloria, Kay. Sorry, as soon as we bring the price to the screen. Good luck. A natural quartzite jade bangle. <laughs> there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Bear with our call centre team. Press your option one. Do stay with us. You're getting answered as well. Um, do you know, yes, that's a really good point. Even if this was like a jasper, a more plentiful gemstone, you know, or certain varieties of agates, you wouldn't see them at forty nine ninety nine. We're bringing you the newest variety of jade, and it's totally natural. It's beautifully translucent at forty nine ninety nine. Gloria, you can do it. Susan, you can do it. Lan uh, Lanarkshire, you can do it. New customer, you can do it. Kay, Kim, well done. This is the medium size. Yeah, when we first introduced bangles, I'll be honest, they I mean, they were a great price, don't get me wrong, but they were still a considered price, you know? Now we're actually bringing you jade bangles of different varieties, aren't we? But a jade bangle, and under 50 quid. Where else in the world? Don't forget that bangle that we showed earlier on, Roscoe. I can't remember the name of the jewellers that had that jade bangle earlier on. And it was like $1,600. We've just done it for 50 quid. I mean, this is the likes of uh, Bonhams and Christie's and that. They auction pieces like this. Yeah. Uh, rarely, but they do auction them as, you know, pre-loved. I want to show you this picture. So, here you go. This well, this picture is a quartzite jade. 1,690 US dollars. It's green. I've got the imperial white here with flex hints of green inside. Have we brought this one to air? Doing it now. This is the large size. Then after this auction, we're gonna dive into a break we just need to uh, dot some I's and cross some T's because we've got some gremlins in the system and we want to bring this to air today. So bear with us, it'll come up immediately after the break. How many of the large size bangle do we have? 10, okay. Out of the 100 that we originally started with, jewelry makers, and believe it or not, how, because there's more jade. The drums will be coming up immediately after the break, jewellery makers. I've got Lanarkshire, Michelle, Janice, Jane getting Jane getting two, Lynn, Pauline. <gasps> the drums are available on pre-order. They will also be going to double figures. It's absolute complete madness. We are in the right place in the right time. But as long as we know that, this is no reflection of the true value or worth. We are talking about the newest variety of jade, as discussed by... Um, Stanley, Bernard, or you know, uh, any jade dealer in the in in Asia, as discussed by um, the GIA, the largest institution in the industry. Not me, GIA. Well done, everybody. Forty nine ninety nine. Congratulations, you can do it. What an amazing deal. The drums are coming up. Um, we've just got to sort out some little gremlins, and then we're going to be launching this amazing strand that somehow just got missed out from the original launch. It's brand new. I've got seventy available, and I can price pledge that it's also going under um, under a hundred pounds. Don't go anywhere. See you after this.
Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Now there's 70 of these. Um, behind the scenes, and I fully appreciate that obviously, I mean, I don't know everything that goes on behind the scenes, obviously more in the, in the studio, but the whole booking in process, you know, our team know every step of the way where their gemstone parcels are. And, that, and that's amazing. And that's a lot of, you know, they're keeping their eye on lots of different sort of parcels, if you like, from around the world. Um, but from the very first discussion on your courtside, Jade, and this is obviously a discussion that Dave had, 
to the moment it lands, he would have known where, which, how much, where they would have been. And Dave will always say, like I say, he gets excited on the live show. He's like, okay, I got a great deal. You get a great deal. However, one did slip through the net. Um, it was not last weekend, the weekend before that we launched this amazing parcel. The, par the parcel that you heard Bernard write about and discuss with Dave saying this is the finest that I've ever seen. The water content, that Feichi is impeccable. It's irreplaceable um, of this grade. Now for, I don't know how, but this strand slipped through the net and wasn't brought to air. It was not intentional jewelry makers. Um, and had it have been, launched last weekend then this wouldn't be on our show today because what i can tell you is the drums whether it's nephrite whether it's jadeite or whether it's your quartzite jade is always the most popular it's also very traditional in the jade world take a moment to look at ollie's amazing recording because it gets up close and personal closer than you could actually get if you were actually here physically in person. So you can absolutely see and appreciate that amazing translucency. You can see the imperial whites. You can see those flecks of green that again, that GIA article spoke about. You can see the glow. Now we haven't said, in fact, I asked him, didn't I, Roscoe? Can you replace something like this? And he was saying, Certain varieties, yes, but not at this price. Not at this price tag. I've got 70 available. Once they're gone, they're gone. The moment the graphics appear, if you love it, if you've got your heart set on owning this beautiful strand, these are the largest that we actually have out of that entire parcel. Um, there's over 300 carats, and I can also confirm that um, they are the only drums. The only drums that we actually have out of that parcel. 70 were available. Also remember, you know, the reason, there's a reason behind certain shapes of jade. Um, jade, are, uh, sort of rounds tend to be, you can get quite a lot out of say one boulder or one slab. That's how they usually actually sort of map it out. These would have started as rounds and then they'd have actually almost been carved down. So it's actually incredibly wasteful. Um, the graphics are live. Remember that pledge that Dave said, we are going to, perhaps we shouldn't, but we are going to include this in that price promise. Dave made that pledge on strands that were smaller than this. Now, I always show this. I know it's a nephrite jade. doesn't matter. Jade is jade, remember. First dibs talk about this shape in this strand look. A jade necklace hand carved white mutton fat nephrite certified untreated yours is untreated too they could use any cut but this is incredibly popular the drums it complements the stone it complements the translucency incredibly gemmy now when we first we're just gonna have a little bit of fun with this when we first introduced your uh, um this gemstone your quartzite jades we believe this price tag would have been more than reasonable. It's 300 carats, over 320 carats. And remember, for, uh, first dibs also talk about the sort of car the, the price points of your jade varieties. Tens of thousands of pounds. So 299, amazing. Remember, we're in the right place. We're in the right time. We've got contacts in the jade world all around the world. And that's the only reason that we're seeing affordable prices. Because if you go to go to Hong Kong, if you were to go to China, if you're going to, to, going to go to the gem fairs that, that Stanley actually referenced earlier on, he says it can change overnight. Currently, it's more accessible, more affordable. How about then jewelry makers we half that price? But you know we're not stopping there. You know that we've pledged this one to also, I don't think we should have done that, Ross. Because this is bigger carrot weight, isn't it? 
The only drums and one of the biggest carrot weights of the entire parcel. Okay, we are though. Let's slot it under um, that double figure statement. Next price crash is where we should be closing, but then we're going to ignore that too. The reason we delayed it and did it after the break is because we were meant to close this at £99. Because we've been asked, you, you asked Ross. Uh, Ross ran upstairs and said, today, it's Monday, 1st July, any chance? We've guaranteed everything under 100. In his head, that's not under 100 because we all round up, don't we? So Ross ran upstairs and said, is there any chance we can take it that little bit lower? That's why we delayed it to this side of the break. Wayne has given the nod of approval because who, who considers 99.99 100 pounds? Everybody. And we haven't brought you anything at 100 pounds, not even the bangles are 100 pounds. So today, jewellery makers, for the 70 that we have, and that's it, we're going to go even lower. Cheshire's got two. Well done. Cheshire, you going for a lovely long line necklace like that photograph on First Dibs? Cheryl Ann in Merseyside, Cumbria, Karen, Rupal, Maker, Cambridgeshire, Carol, Dorset, Cumbria, Essex, London, Louise in Manchester. Going lower on this occasion. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I'd have been happy it's 89 or even £79. 69.99 plus you've got your split pay there as well, jewellery makers. It's a full 38 centimetre strand. Absolutely unbelievable. One of the largest carat weights of this entire parcel. Again, look at that lovely water content. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Oh, Linda, something's just dawned on me. We are on like the eve of your amazing masterclass, which I love. So do I. <laughs> I'm just thinking of these. With it. With it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be amazing, it. wouldn't they? Icing on cake, that's more than that. Oof. You know, when Ross disappeared upstairs to speak to our sales manager, Wayne, I've just been informed that this was not the price that Wayne approved. For an incredible 320 carats, the only drums that we have in this entire gem parcel, of which most of it is sold out anyway. You know, the, the 12 mil sold out, 10 mil sold out, I believe. In a minute, for the final opportunity of the finest grade, quartzite jade, we're going even lower. And that means Rupal. Karen, Cumbria, Cheryl, Cheshire, Louise, Diane, London, Northamptonshire, um, everybody that's made their confirmation so far, it means you get that price reduction too. The finest quality of quartzite jade, remember it's in its infancy. We are still learning. You know whether you're accepting or you're begrudging of it, but we're still learning to include it in that jade umbrella. I totally get it, listen, I was that too. I didn't understand it. I was like, what do you mean? Hang on a minute, this, ha, are you just loosely describing it as a jade or is it fully accepted? No, 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 well, it's fully accepted. I do understand it. But these prices, like Stanley was saying, that's what he's predominantly actually trading in right now. I bet he's not trading them at 69.99, that's for sure. The price agreed with our sales manager was not 69.99. <laughs> it's one of those occasions where you have to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's, it's quite laughable, actually. If we were to say mm. to Stanley, and Dave openly admits he would never tell Stanley the prices that we bring these to air. He, want, he actually said, do you remember, Roscoe, during the launch, he was like, I'd love to broadcast to China. He was like, mm. I'd love our own little shopping channel to China, even if it's on just for a few days, a uh, few hours of the day. He's like, I'd love that because we had to bring parcels like this and it would go crazy. It'd be gone in seconds. Yeah, it would be. Uh, it'd Absolutely. be gone in seconds. Totally. Totally he said, totally but at the same totally. time, maybe I wouldn't because then Stanley and Bernard would be looking at this and, thinking, and be what thinking, what are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the thing about this new quartzite jade, or jade, I should specify, 
is the fact because of all the various reasons as to why it's not only rare but the sourcing of it is yes. so incredibly difficult because of demand you know when you've got supply and demand issues you've also then got rising cost issues absolutely <coughs> well, as, but as also we will with, this, with your pearls yeah exactly so but with pearls and with jade we're very much we, we're in at the the shallower end at the moment um, of these uh, incredible rare expensive gemstones and then within the foreseeable next even two years down mm. the line these will only be available on the secondary markets in places like first dibs or exactly or and we all know what happens then yeah you know it just goes through the roof um unbelievable jewelry makers truly again we're all in the right place at the right time because i, I i'm not i couldn't afford the prices that are christie's bonhams and sotheby's actually well, offer i mean this is a, this is a piece that could be auctioned absolutely as it is yeah. without the clasp or anything else yeah. on it that there could go. go to auction absolutely just like this yeah and that's a jade. lot of money with individuals who are very knowledgeable absolutely about the absolutely again you know something that dave was actually saying he, he mentioned he was like the jade world the situation with jade at the moment is dire you've got to remember the Kotan mine is closed um the burmese mine is closed the the guatemala mine is closed so really the only access that we have to certain to to those translucent varieties really are pieces like this, exactly. the quartzite jade. Exactly, and what's jade. there that we can buy? You know, and, and I guess to be to a certain degree, some of the the, the, the jade industry are probably quite happy that that, that it's we're, we're we're almost reluctant to accept it, I suppose, because that means those of you that are going, no, 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 I get it. The gem world tra changes on a regular basis. Mm. Do you remember when we used to say that that blue garnet wasn't a thing? Mm, no absolutely. you yeah. don't get blue garnet what happens yeah blue garnet's discovered do you, see, do you know what i mean absolutely it's very down to circumstances and conditions that we're completely out of control absolutely with. you know we, we we can't be it's a very traditional uh um industry in a sense that no, 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 I've always known it this way. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. I do get that. But it shouldn't be because it does actually change. Um, well done. <laughs> um, I've got 10 of these left. Diana, Mariska, Valerie, Susan, Alexis. Hello to you. Lavinia, Sandra, uh, Marcella, Karen, Cambridge. Susan's got three. Wow. Cheshire's got three. Wow. Uh, Maker, Kim, Anne, Northamptonshire. I've got eight left. Do you know, those of you that are getting the three, that's, for me, that's the price of one strand. And that's probably being conservative, to be honest. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. It's big. Remember Richard Wise, which we've got a book over there, at Secrets of the Gem Trade. There's been different editions that have been published. Um, when I did my qualification, Steve gave me a book, uh, gave me a copy of that book, and he said, read it and then read it again because everything you need to know about gemstones is within those pages. And he said, things, exactly that, things change in the gem world. If you see something that you love and you can afford it, get it. Because chances are, the very next day, it won't be, it won't be affordable. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. The next month, the next year, it won't be affordable. So, um, Paraba, prime example. Alexandrite, do you remember gems doing Russian Alexandrite? And none of us got it. None of us bought it. No, <laughs> my goodness, I wish I did. Because I might not be working if I, I mean, bought it's, it then. It's also, you know, people that are uh, watching the show today, you don't have to be a jewellery maker to be excited by this gem. It's also no. very much a collector's yeah. item. Yeah, absolutely. This is the thing. Um, now, coming up, because another item that is really jade and pearls they are again our, our, our partnership gemporia celebrate their birthday um in october and the planning starts well it's annual it takes the whole year um i think it was 20 percent that is usually um 20 percent of the gemporia birthday event is usually about pearls so their budget for 20 percent um of the airtime of course but also the actual expenditure mm -hmm. 2024 is the first time in 20 years 
that it not a single pearl has been bought for the Gemporia birthday. I remember Charlie Barron doing a showcase on Gemporia for one of their birthdays, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, where he sold a £50,000 necklace, pearl necklace. Not one single pearl has been bought for the Gemporia birthday for the first time ever. Why? Pearls are still being harvested. Of course they are. But remember the power of influence? All of a sudden, started with Tahitian pearls. Tahitian pearls, the future decade of harvests have been bought outright. So that means, yes, they're being harvested, but we won't get them. Whoever bought them, a private investor, I guess, um, has bought the entire supply. Then it followed suit with South Sea. Can't get South Sea pearls. So all of a sudden, two of the most prolific locations of pearl supply, gone. Okay, don't worry though, don't worry, because we've always, always got location, uh, sort of your freshwater pearls, um, your Edison pearls, or your Akoya pearls. No, no, Akoya pearls, you can get them, but by the way, you have to dig extremely deep for Akoya pearls. Never be more expensive than they are right now, Akoya pearls. The same applies, Edison. We can get Edison, we can, but they're expensive. Freshwater pearls, actually can't get freshwater pearls because China won't export them because their own uh, um, people people who live there are happy to pay oh, the, the premiums. The domestic market is absolutely the word I was volatile for. in China for pearls. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, with the Chinese economy is thriving and they're all investing into their beautiful gems. These are stunning, Linda. Mm -hmm. They're they coming up in the amazing. 12 o'clock hour. I can't think of a superlative to describe them, actually absolutely Mind stunning breathtakingly beautiful Just so do you have little beautiful. silver elements in that yes, as well yes the, the little um drops little drop spaces yes which are double drilled actually are they yeah i love this we've got 90 which is absolutely unreal do you know and i'm never saying that we would do this we are still run very differently at separate channels you know we have our own buy because uh, we, we've been asked this a few times roscoe haven't we um and sometimes yeah wayne will give pieces to our sister channel and vice versa um but our sister channel hasn't got those pills they could knot them they could put them on an 18 karat gold class themselves and sell it for however much it would be but that means it's taken it from you so our buying team do run the bulk of the time separately. We have 90 available opportunities, jewelry makers, coming up in a few minutes time. But first, I did promise some of your lovely essentials, didn't I? Um, and by the way, if you want to knot those pearls, you need some of your wire guardians. Don't worry, I've got wire guardians. Do you want some? Um, jump rings, do you want some bolt rings, do you want some spacer beads? I've actually got big quantities of each of these jewelry makers. So um, they're essentials, you know, uh, you know, we've been completely romanced by beautiful gemstones today, but it's important that we actually have the findings to make them with. You mentioned it earlier on, nothing worse than trying to find a class and then you can't no. find one. Um, okay, shall we get everybody excited for the next hour? Open your orders if you haven't already done so. With what, sorry? Spacer beads. There is genuinely, genuinely, there's not a single piece of jewellery that I make that doesn't include spacer beads. Genuine statement. They are very needed, absolutely. They must you, I've very... actually used them, Al, in this design. Have you? Uh, yes, so I'm glad that we've got some to go on air now. So you need these if you want to recreate Linda's well, amazing Well, they're design. not an absolute necessity, but they just highlight, pinpoint and create a design. Um, are they, they, well, they, you think about, I can't knot, I'm rubbish at knotting. So I would use these as an alternative. Yeah, they are the most needed designs. Yeah, if you put them on elastic, you probably need to multi-buy and you can make a beautiful sterling silver solid bracelet, just, mm -hmm. for, just like that. For a pack of 50, not 10, do you remember when we used to do 10? Wow. And they were more than that. Pack of 10 was more than that. And that being slightly bigger size, yeah, granted. But we're not stopping there. Tell me this quantity, Ross. Big quantity, amazing. We've got a big quantity of these. Stock up on these also if you're inspired by our lovely Linda's beautiful masterclass, then you'll need spacer beads. 
It's just, and immediately, just even with a couple, you're like, oh, well, that's precious metal. You can actually say it's sterling silver. Then talk about, you don't necessarily talk about the gram weight straight away. It's that perceived value. I'm useless at knotting, so I use spacer beads as an alternative to that. Um, a gram of precious metal, not even stopping at nine pounds and 99 pence. We've got quantity. What are you doing, Ross? Seriously? Seriously, though, if they were base metal, I'd think that price was good. What? <laughs> Linda, I mean, you've been here since day one, lovely, didn't we? Firstly, spaces were in our findings packs, weren't they? I used to get, yeah. like, three or four. Yeah. Then they went into individual, and we were like, yeah, I've got ten space beads. Exactly. Ten? I mean, the first... The first sterling silver space of beads in packs of ten, a price of twelve ninety nine comes to mind. Oh uh, yeah, I've got that. Between twelve ninety nine and fifteen pounds in my head. Yeah. That was ten. Ten, yeah. You've got fifty. We're at six ninety nine. We're gonna bring another price point to air that you're also not gonna be paying. Okay, again, is there a cap on these, Ross? No cap. No cap, we've got hundreds of them. Stock up your stashes, we're at ten P per bead. And we're going even oh, lower. Fill your boots, please. A minute clock. You need your spacers. I use. They, generally, there's not a single piece of jewellery that I make that doesn't include spacers. I use uh, them on I've everything. I've been using more and more recently. My um, little granddaughter, she's um, been coming round to the house and we've been making earrings together because she's got a charity sale at school coming up. Yeah. And um, she saw my space abuse, which I guard like, you know, like a bulldog, really. And she said, oh, you know that waterfall neck, uh, waterfall earring that we've just made? Yeah. With Ethiopian opal. Yeah. I said, yeah, she could we make one with those silver beads? Oh, nice. You know, well, I, tell I you love what, today Ethiopian you can. opal, but those space beads as a, as a uh, waterfall earring was stunning. Yeah, amazing. Well, yeah, funny. Well, today you can. Linda, because yep. we're not even stopping at four ninety nine. Wow. Um, I wouldn't just be getting one of these either. I'd be absolutely stocking up your stashes. I think we were speaking about on Saturday, we were talking about the Capriccio bracelet with Debs. You could make a bigger sterling silver Capriccio bracelet. Seriously. You know, we've got tomorrow some two millimetre gemstones, haven't we? They'd be perfect alongside that to do. Three ninety nine. Seriously. Even if we are getting the price slightly wrong, hang on, let me just count this out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. See them there? Not those ones, those ones there. We used to do them for double figures. Let's just say yeah, double definitely, figures. Definitely. Didn't we? Now you get 50 of them. It's madness. Again, it really, it always hits home to me when you so, have like a. Um, Rachel, who's also a head buyer for our sister channel, come over and go, what are your silver prices? Seriously, how do you do this? There's a gram of sterling silver here and you're at 3 .99. She's often better off buying the silver from us to actually make the pieces. You know, and, and you know, we will, re yeah, we always need spacers. They are an essential. We have, how many do you say? Sorry, Roscoe. Massive quantity, but we need it because... Christine's got three, Richard and Neely's got two, uh, Musiside's got two, Wiltshire's got two, Janice has got two, Christine's got three, Karen's got two, Shirley's got three, uh, Wendy's got three, Maker and Fife's got three, Rachel's multi-bought, Paula's multi-bought, Janet's bought five, Buckinghamshire's multi-bought. You get the idea. Um, probably, what, 80, 90% of collectors have chosen to multi-buy? Why? Because we know we'll use them. And you, you, we know we will use them. There's, it's not one of those like, oh, do I, don't I, am I going to use it? Well, you know you are. And there's nothing worse. This is another thing. This is another thing. What? Eight pence per space of eat. That's hilarious, isn't it? We were talking about, you know, your, um, you were talk describing the scenario when you're looking around for a, for a clasp. Um, Debs and I were talking about the fact that you're normally looking in the dish, uh, in your drawers, whatever it is, your containers, trying to find a space. To be, I just need one more. Yeah, exactly. And then you go straight to the corners because that's where they tend to yeah, migrate that's right. to. Yeah, absolutely. You're doing this and doing yeah. this. And no, it still hasn't turned up doing this and doing this. No, it still hasn't turned up. Nope. 
stock up your stashes because we've all been there we've all been there well done everybody again make sure you're checking out your baskets on this one 8p it is ridiculous so alice is in charge of our sterling silver buying isn't she I have to say, she negotiates some of the most amazing she sterling does. silver prices. She really, really, I don't know really how she's does. doing it, to be honest. I mean, you know, I've been here that long that I've been here with quite a few of our sterling yeah. silver buyers that have come and gone. And um, you're quite right, yeah, she must be negotiating some really... Unbelievable. Really now, here's a little revolutionary product. I've got 200 available. Your wire guardians, they look like little earphones. Um, they will add longevity to your piece of jewellery. I don't know what that bit of fluff is there. Um, they will add longevity to be a, your piece of jewellery, but also um, uh, by protecting the silk. So if we're talking about pearls, for example, and we've got p amazing pearls coming up in the next hour. So traditionally we use, uh, we use silk, don't we? Which is a natural fibre and it can, it can stretch, it can wear. Um, particularly if it's if it's rubbing against a uh, metal so imagine by the clasp you've got your silk you feed it up through this one side can you see yeah follow what is like a little gully can you see that round to the other side imagine your clasp is positioned here um, it's basically going to prevent that friction. This is a 0.5 millimeter, sort of that middle of the road size that's going to work with everything. Um, and it looks so much neater. For me, I've got, you know, if you look at that piece of jewelry that's actually on first dibs, it's a lovely piece of jewelry, but I much prefer, do you notice how the silk's exposed? Can you see it? That's not going to last me that long. That silk is going to wear. No, that's in a very vulnerable place. Yes. Where that is, you know, that's the place where you tend to, you know, jiggle the jewellery around. But the most vulnerable place for any thread, particularly, as you say, uh, pearl silks, is the clasp because you're opening and closing and moving it so often. Just, uh, Lauren, yeah? could you possibly pass me that pearl necklace over there? Because I can actually show you it in... Um, it's just behind Linda, just on Linda. Sorry. Oh, this. Yeah. Behind there, so, because yeah. it can, a I can actually show you what a pearl guardian is. I know lots of our regular viewers absolutely know this, but if you are brand new to jewelry making, which I know some of our customers are, um, uh, you know, knowing how to use components like this, because it's easy to overlook something if you can't see its purpose. But actually, you know, l as Linda mentioned earlier on, thank you, darling. Um, this is what I would go look for straight away if I was buying a piece of jewelry. Does it have a wire guardian or not? Now this one's, you know, it's probably been knocking around in the studio a while. But if I draw your attention, and yes, these are in gold plated. But if I draw your attention to this part of the necklace there, can you see the wire guardian? So, um, this is in gold plate. So it literally feeds up, turn it towards you, sorry. Feeds, there you go, up the one side down through the gully and then it leads down into that knot there it means your silk is not rubbing against the clasp and gradually wearing away because like like linda so eloquently put that's actually a very vulnerable part of the piece of jewelry that's what i want to see now you get 20 pieces 20 pieces you don't have to use it with silk, you could use it with all your threading material, whether that's wildfire, whether that's no, absolutely anything, yeah. monofilament, you could use it with all of them, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, we're at nine pounds and 99 pence. <clears throat> but, let me just see if I can do this on a, we're going even lower, 25 seconds taking it even lower. Now you'd have pliers, I haven't got pliers here. Hang on a minute. Bear with, I'm almost there. You see the two ends, well, the start and the finish of the Guardian um, that resemble crimp beads? Yeah. You can compress those. Yes, you can crimp yeah. it into place. Now, I've deliberately not fed that down into the gully, but can you see? You can use them as a bale, yeah, absolutely. But when, well, I obviously, you push it all the way down and imagine that's where my clasp is now 
it's that much more polished and finished six pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of 20 of your wire guardians it's one of those components you don't realize how good it is until you actually start using them because it, it, it just makes it look that much more neat um, and tidy, doesn't it? Yeah, and it gives longevity to the piece yeah, as well. absolutely. I'm rubbish at French wire. I can't use French wire for love nor money. No, I must admit, I find it quite difficult Fiddly. because I've got quite sort of big fingers, if you see what I mean. So yeah. I'm not into delicate work, doesn't, isn't really in my remit, but... The wire guardians are the I way find to them go. a lot easier because they're rigid, aren't they? Yes, exactly. You know, they're not sort of like French wire is a bit more floppy, whereas yeah. this has actually got that rigidity to it. We had big quantities of these jewellery makers, so make sure you are checking out your baskets. Um, again, the classic wire guardian, which whenever we see them, they're on, they're gone. They're on, they're gone. Um, well done, loads of multi buyers. Merseyside, Judith, Linda, Helen, Norma, Cambridgeshire, Fife, Lynn, and Tracy. What an amazing morning it's been so far. That's some lovely goodies in today's show. And all building up towards the most insanely beautiful pearls. Those pearls are epic. Apps, and we haven't had that shape in, I can't remember how long. How no, long? I mean, and they are sort of perfect bridal white. Yeah, so you know, that sort of winter white. Incredible. Make sure you're checking out. There's nothing worse than rubbing, running out of your uh, wire guardians. And you'll find you use them over and over and over and over And you'll and over find again. other uses for them too. Like yeah. a lot of findings you can, when you get used to making jewellery, you'll think, oh, I could use that. Mm. Um, sorry, what was that, Roscoe? Jump rings. When was the last time we saw jump rings? <laughs> I know. This is another thing I'm constantly searching for. And again, you, you can make jump rings, but they're never quite the same. No, they're not. Because you need your jump ring. If I scoop a few of these up, look. You need your jump rings. They haven't been on air since February, really. And we've just hit July, haven't we? Um, so take a little look at that. So you need your jump rings. The thing is, I can make them and I can cut them with my flush cutters, I suppose. But then at one side, I'm going to have a burr. Which yeah, I mean, the thing is, when you make them yourself, which is doable and you cut them with your flush cutters, you have to cut them on an angle. If yeah. you don't, there is no way that that is going to go perfectly nope. together again. No. Um, and often I find with my homemade jump rings, I often find when I'm opening and closing them, they'll break. Yeah. It's and they never close properly. Never and quite. And you know, you, you think they're closed enough, but that thread that you're using has got a mind of its own. And work These its two out. components go hand in hand with one another. Mm -hmm. Literally, using your wire guardians on your jump rings, they go hand in hand with one another. Um, okay, you get 50 pieces. These are three mil. Um, my preferred size, actually, these three millimeter, because they're not too clumpy, they're not too big, especially if you are talking about sort of uh, in and around the class. 9.99, that's all sterling silver jewelry makers. I mean, they make most delicious little Mobius rings. Yeah. You know, where you put a jump ring inside a jump ring inside a jump ring. So again, um, you're making um, a, a piece that you can use as a piece of jewellery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, yeah. if you do jump ring jewellery, etc., all the weaves that you can do. But, you know, to my mind, because I can't do that, I'm not very good at that sort of thing, but to my mind, just as you've got them on that tweezer barrel there, you can slide them onto a chain. Yeah, yeah. And I like the sweetie style brace, uh, necklace. Yeah. yeah, five mil, that's the external uh, diameter. Five mil jump rings are our most requested size. I get it though, because it's gonna because it's that in between, isn't it? It's gonna work with the larger statement necklaces, say mm -hmm. those beautiful quartzite drums, but it will also work alongside your very your micro gems, like the two yeah. mils. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you can use them as spacers. Yeah. <coughs> In between they do gemstones. Have a lot, excuse me, they do have a lot of use. They really do. I'm just trying to see is there a jump ring on um, <coughs> on these? Me. No. <coughs> um, but we know how to use a jump ring, don't we? So, for example, um, Alison will always say she always puts a jump ring before she feeds on her class because then if she wants to change I her, do, yeah. do you? Yeah. Wants to change the, the um, class she can yeah, do. Exactly. Um, whereas if you do, if you not directly onto a class, you obviously might just that not have isn't. enough thread. Yeah left um, and also if you've got your jump ring sitting there which obviously is a component that can attach to something else and say you haven't made it quite long enough for purpose or whatever you can attach a piece of chain to that last jump yeah, ring etc exactly. et 
Yeah. <clears throat> so um, definitely something that we would recommend. You'll use them, yeah, in between beads, in earrings, definitely. You use jump rings over and over and over again. And whilst, yes, you can make them, it's a faff and um, it's difficult to actually get jump rings that are as perfect as ours. I always remember Fleur used to say, our, our jump rings are the best that they she's are. ever worked they, with. They are, without a shadow of a doubt, yeah. they are, yeah. I mean, I, before jewellery maker, used to buy all my components, obviously. I used to buy them from the jewellery quarter in Birmingham, and I used to buy them from a little craft um, market, which I live quite close to. And I bet they weren't seven ninety nine. Well, absolutely not. The no. three and a half grams of sterling no, silver. No, absolutely not. I mean, yeah. I can remember the price of a pack of five head pins sterling silver I bought. Uh, five head pins, normal size, were fourteen ninety nine, and that's uh, that just stuck in my head. And that's before. So it's all, well, that's what fourteen years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Now we've got one more of your essentials to bring you. Don't forget your pearls are on the horizon. If you haven't, oh, just take a little look at these pearls. Oh my goodness. Linda, they're absolutely beautiful. I love that necklace. Yeah, again, you know, these sorts of designs I, I do, I try to do them as a source of inspiration really to inspire you guys to change them slightly, change the design slightly, put your own personality Stamp to them um, and that's just so much you can do with a pearl look like at those this. pearls that, I mean, they've got the luster's that high it's almost blue yeah it is. you know when you you know when you look at, at freshly fallen snow yeah and it's so white it's almost blue yeah absolutely and blue as an overtone in pearls is one of the rarest colors yeah they have that blue overtone don't they yeah. i mean coming look, up just look at the, the they're amazing oh the luster on them is on pre-order but not yet but not yet. Are they? Okay, jewellery makers, let's bring you, again, something I've not seen in ages. I haven't seen a bolt ring clasp in absolutely ages. <laughs> we've had we've had toggles, we've had magnetic clasps, we've had box clasps. I haven't seen a lobster, uh, sorry, a bolt ring clasp in ages. And they are a staple. You get what, sorry? Starting at a pound each for a pack of 10. They're nice, they're a nice size, seven mil. Pardon? Straight down to your final closing price on your essentials. Jenny, it's got to be months since I've seen a bolt ring clasp. Hmm. I'd expect three for that. And that's jewellery maker. In fact, did we used to do like three for four ninety nine? We used to put one in our little findings packs, hadn't we? Our sterling silver findings yeah. packs. We used to put one in. You've got ten. 10.49p each, crazy, actually crazy. Again, make sure you're checking out. It's a nice size bolt ring clasp there. So if you do struggle with bolt ring clasps, uh, you know, as in the teeny tiny ones, um, these, have, you know, they've got a nice size to actually get hold of. So I can actually show you here. Um, and again, beautiful quality to them as well. Look at that, all that lovely sterling silver within. Um, I had quantity of these. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Now, coming up after the break, jewellery makers, we have the wonderful Wall of Fame. So all your, your incredible pieces. Um, and then it's all about those sensational pearls. Um, you can shop ahead and pre-order on these. It's been a long time since I've seen pearls in that shape, like the Brock size. Pardon? There's only 90 available. So if you are a pearl lover, I used to say, and I have, I used to say pearls are our greatest strength here at Jewelry Maker. I don't think anybody can say that. Not even like Asile or Pearl Paradise no. or Yoko of London. No. Nobody can say that right now because unfortunately the, the, pearl, the pearl market is, it's never been the way it has historically. It never been the situation that it is right now. And not only in terms of price, but in terms of availability. We've got 90 available today. I know what these are going to and it's crazy because we could literally sell them back into, um, into the pill market at a higher price point. Use this time during the break to secure yours, like I shall be doing, um, and join us just after the break. Jewelry Makers, an amazing piece of jewelry, an amazing deal on your Brock Pearls after this. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe it's midday already. Um, okay, let's get into the Wall of Fame. Your amazing pieces. There's some lovely pearls in this as well. Mm. But I need to tell you that these beautiful pearls are available. Oh my 
goodness me. For pre-order right now. You get those three beautiful kind of teardrop spaces. They're stunning, Ross. Yeah, you can see that you can see the quality well, that, that of these, box, can't you? That box is just something else. I mean it's such a beautiful box to display high end pearls like this in. The pearls are incredible, aren't they? They're some of the most lustrous pearls. There's the spaces. Can you see they're almost like paisley shaped? If I put one on the back of my hand. Yeah, like a teardrop shape. And they're silver, obviously. So you get all three of those. There's a big gram weight in those. Do you know what they remind me of? The Bottega earrings. It, they're just like those Bottega earrings. And then now I can really tilt it forward. Look at the quality of those pearls. Oh my goodness. You really fully, yeah, appreciate just the size of these pearls. They're available on pre-order right now, jewelry makers. And they come obviously with Linda's amazing tube. And that's a heavy silver, isn't it? Uh, these are heavy? They are. Yeah, definitely. Really heavy. They make fantastic ends to shoulder dusting earrings. Oh, absolutely. They? Right, but first, your wonderful creations. If you're desperate to get hold of those pearls, I would strongly encourage you shopping ahead so you don't uh, miss out. Now, um, do you want to start us off? Okey pokey, I will. And this is a beautiful macrame piece here. Let me just switch this around so I can read the email out and this is number 911 from susan wright and susan says hello again jay and friends i haven't waft in a while but thought i'd send this knotted pendant made with my favorite nylon thread and fire polished sea beads uh, i'm still knotting after all these years lots of love from susie at the seaside oh mm. that's that knotting nice. knotting susie at the seaside that sounds that's, that's lovely. catchy well that done. is catchy it is very catchy. beautiful good luck susie um i have Oh, a clover inspired some beautiful pieces multiple pieces from jackie stapleton jackie you're 910 um hi jewelry maker just heard you saying not many entries that's true i did say that uh so this morning's makes were on my coffee table awaiting prices so i took a photo quick as possible and sending now um hope you get inundated with entries and that's jackie in kingham um thank you jackie because i was saying like i said we don't play we don't want it you don't want the powers that be taking it off us no so make sure you send you send your photographs Definitely in not. good luck jackie bless you you're 910. this is the most beautiful pearl design it's absolutely gorgeous the, the little story that it conjures up and it's photographed beautifully and this is 913 yeah. and it's from uh, elsa wood i hope i pronounced that right and uh, morning jewelry gang says elsa here is my entry for this week's wall of fame i bought the silver slider necklace kit added a pearl then using my very recently purchased pearl drill bit and one millimeter garnet cut gemstones created mungo the pearl fish i think that is so precious down here Aww. little fish it's little fishy and that's like a big bubble coming up from the little yeah, fish bubble, bubble. it's gorgeous <laughs> no? little story loving you 913 elsa. loving that well done elsa um i have 912 from vera birini who i always think sounds like a hollywood a-lister certainly does vera birini um beautiful jewelry for uh vera saying more and she says more oh, look at that i remember this technique being mm -hmm. um demonstrated by mark morning jewelry maker i love square designs using cb so when mark made this one i just had to copy him um i have made a few changes by accentuating the pico edges and adding a further bead emphasizing the alhambra shape um i'm sure mark will not mind he is so lovely good luck mm. to all the entrants from vera vera they're beautiful i'm absolutely certain mark would approve they're stunning 912 beautiful oh yes i can see what you mean you mm. took a bead into Onto the little points yes so you've taken it in there. there yeah so you've and got then, one in between the center de gemstones and then beaded around and given the little points on nice all the idea lovely, loving that lovely well done these are my sort of earrings now these are stunning and these in 914 from sue got and sue says hi this is my entry for the wall of fame lovely pearls with star connectors on gold plated 925 ear wires all from jm and that's sue 
in Derbyshire with a very smiley face. Happy, happy Sue, Sue in Derbyshire. Beautiful. Sue, do you, know what, do you know the moment I saw those, I was thinking, oh, oh they were, they're a bit Suru. Uh, the jewellery that sisters, one's from Birmingham, one, uh, oh, well, they're yeah, half, yeah. half Brummy, half Sicilian. Yeah, I was, I, I, and they were in, um, I, I think it was in, I was in a supermarket and I always pick up their little free magazine. Were they in there as well? Yeah. Were yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah, Suru, S-O-R-U. They've they're definitely giving me Suru vibes, those. Um, very lovely. Uh, I have 915 from Lorna, Lorna Cunningham. Uh, Laura, very love, uh, very beautiful jewellery, and she says, "Good morning to you all. Please find my entry into the Wall of Fame this week. It's a suite of jewellery made from carnelian and pearls, nice combination, made into earrings, necklace, and a bracelet with nine two five gold plated findings. Everything is from jewellery maker, smiley face, and I'm chuffed to bits with it. Good luck to all waffers, and have a fabulous day. Love, Lorna. You should be chuffed. It's beautiful. Loving Carnelian that. Carnelian and pearls are much made in heaven, aren't they? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, lots of us get, in, including pearls. Oh, enjoy it while We've it lasts. We've got pearls again. Yeah. Oh, and this is beautiful as well. Again, my sort of jewellery. And you're 916 and it's Lisa Walkden. Lisa says, Morning, JM team. Please see attach my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a long line necklace made from Sakota emerald chips. Wow. Freshwater pearl, shell pearls and silver spacer beads. I've received lots of lovely comments when I wear it. Good luck to everyone this week and lots of love to all. Lots of love to you too, Lisa. That's a beautiful piece of jewellery, your 916. Good luck. Good luck to all of you. Oh, I know. Amazing pieces. We love to see them as well. So keep those entries coming mm -hmm. through, lovely jewellery makers. Okay. Oh, God, these are beautiful. Do you know, like, it's like, oh, my goodness me, these are so beautiful. I bet you thought all your Christmases would come at once. Absolutely, all hundred of them. <laughs> Do you know what? Let, Christmas, let, birthdays, the lot. Uh, we know the five virtues, right? When we're talking about pearls, there's actually more than five virtues, but we, we simplify it. So, size. What are, what are the millimetres of these, per, uh, Roscoe? The big ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 17, Something and I'm being conservative there. Mm -hmm. Anything over 10 is colossal in the pearl world. I remember asking Charlie Barron some time ago, and if you got that's another that's another sort of like real uh, um, lightning bolt uh, lightning bolt moment. He hasn't been here for a year, and he won't be here for the foreseeable because Charlie, who is a sixth generational pearl harvester and family, says I haven't got pearls. If you go on to his Instagram page, Charlie Barron, um, oh goodness, I'm really underestimated, didn't I? I'll come back to that. If you go to Charlie Barron, you won't find pearls. It's now emeralds, sapphires, diamonds. Which are far more and he was the source, Mr. No. Pearl, wasn't he? He absolutely was the bee's knees of pearls. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. As again, you say, sixth generation, you know, generations of family members. Yeah. Well, again, you know, Gemporia. Our, 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 the biggest birthday that Gemporia are about to celebrate, and oh, normally 20% of the show airtime and budget is pearls. Not one pearl's been bought. Not one. That's so sad, Elle. So anyway, I've digressed. It is sad, I know. Um, size. These are over 20 millimetres. That's two centimetres. They're enormous. Wow. Absolutely enormous. Then we talk about colour. Now, Right, colour, firstly, is it is it a pink pearl? Is it a white pearl? Is it a Tahitian pearl? Is it So these are white pearls, right? But actually it goes at that little step further. And I don't know if you've got the... In fact, Roscoe, can we go to the GIA, colour uh, pearl quality factors? Because that explains it far better than I can. So, because um, there's different layers of colours. You, yes, you've got the obvious colour, but you've got overtones and undertones as well. Um, you only get overtones and undertones when you've got an abundance of nacre, which is that rare precious material that makes up your pearls. Um, so I'm going to get to that in a second. We also talk about shape. Now, pearl rounds 
are incredibly expensive, but the pearl industry is hugely loving the Brock pearls, Brocks and Fireball pearls at the moment. Yeah, I mean, they, they sort of fell over them by default, yes. really. I remember going when I, going when I was in China with Sheila, um, we, we were about two or three years old then, and I was in the gemstone market and I came across this one stand that had these beautiful Baroque pearls, big chunky Baroque pearls. Mm. And Sheila and I did a double take on them. And um, the guy that owned the store said, do you think the West are ready for these yet? I said, I hope so, because I want tons and tons yeah, of them. Yeah, we're buying them, we're yeah. buying them. Um, here we go, again, GIA talking about the pearl quality factors. Um, thank you. Um, the qualities that determine the overall value of a natural cultured pearl um, or a piece of pearl, is that the beginning? Yeah. Uh, piece of pearl jewellery are size, shape, colour, luster, surface quality, naked quality and for jewellery with two or more pearls matching. Size when other value factors are equal, larger pearls are rarer and more valu valuable than smaller pearls. I guess that's fairly obvious, isn't it? Because you've got to remember that these mollusks have to house a pearl of over two centimetres. That's, you know, mm. and freshwater pearls mm. are much smaller than, say, your um, South Sea oysters, the golden lip oyster, which can be dinner plate sizes. Then we start discussing shape. Round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest. Um, cultured pearl shapes and, if all other factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions, and this is what we were just discussing. Well-formed pears, ovals or baroque, which is your irregular shape cultured pearls, are also prized for, by pearl lovers. So, it's either beholder with shape, I think. It's all down to what you prefer. Absolutely, it definitely, definitely is. But if you love a pearl, trust me, you will fall deeply in love with a Baroque yeah, pearl. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. mean, the, the thing about the round pearls is 99% of the time they've been nucleated um, in the mantle tissue mm -hmm. of the um, host clam, oyster, whatever. Um, but with a Baroque pearl, I'm sorry if I'm stealing No, you're thunder, all right. But with a Baroque pearl, they, you know, just insert um, perhaps a, a, if we want to get this Baroque shape, this sort of fireball, flameball shape, then it, we insert an irregular shaped nucleus into the oyster. The it's oyster, ha harder for them to accept though, it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The oyster is then put back, nurtured, looked after brilliantly, just as it would be in the natural seawater, left to its own devices. Mother Nature takes over and it's the ripple of the water, etc., that determines a lot of factors. But because this nucleus, as in seawater pearls, mm. um, this little irritant has got inside the clam, the clam sees it as a parasite. So wants to eradicate it, wants to move on. And that's with both freshwater and seawater pearls, same thing. Um, so in order to eradicate it, the oyster or the clam, mussel, whatever the host is, um, produces this nacre, nacre, whatever you want to call it, in order to sort of eradicate it. Um, from inside um, its um, shell. And that is then what proves to be your pearl. And obviously the shape of that nucleus then, really in the Baroque pearl, because it's an odd shape, will result in these incredible shapes that Mother Nature has taken over to create. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's... And create beauties like this. It is all down to, like I said, personal preference. But the irregular pearls, you know, they are undeniably natural. You can see that it's Mother Absolutely. Nature, can't you? Absolutely. So then we move on to colour. And this is what I was saying, and this is why I kind of stopped my train of thought, because these have got overtones and undertones. <sighs> um, colour, natural, these are natural, and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. What I mean by that, they're not, they're not your faux pearls. Um, there are warm hues like yellows, oranges and pinks and cool hues like your blues, greens and violets. Yours are blues. 
Um, so uh, pearl colors tend to be muted with a soft, subtle quality. Can I just say the luster on yours, I'm looking at them alongside one another. When we say high luster, that's the biggest understatement of the century. Yours are mirror-like, mm. literally. Can we, um, can we, Ollie, for a second, can you put this recording alongside that photograph? Because you want to see high luster, and these are the ones chosen by the GIA to go in the photo. These are mirror-like luster. And to be honest, you can tick all of your five, uh, four, five virtues. If you don't tick luster, it's a meh pearl. Does that make sense? You can have the best, you can have the best size. You can have the best color. You can have the most amount of nacre. You can have the most beautiful shape. But if it doesn't have luster, doesn't have then the it beauty. doesn't have any of those. It doesn't have desirability. No. So let's read on. It says pill color. This is what I was talking about. Pill colors can have three components. A body color is its dominant overall color. In this case, it's white. Overtone is one or more translucent colors that lie over the pill's body color. Does that make sense? An orient is a shimmer of iridescent rainbow colors on or just below the pearl surface. So overtone is like, oh gosh, yes, oh look, I can definitely see some golds as an overtone there. But you might see iridescent rainbow colors, like I can see blues and I can see some violets in there as well um, as the, sh the uh, rainbow colors. Um, all pearls display body color, but only some will show overtone, orient and or both. This shows both. The law of supply and demand determines the value of um, certain pearl colors and at any given time, if supplies of high quality pearls displaying a preferred color are low, their prices can rise to unusually high levels. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence color preferences. You said earlier on, are the West ready for pearls like this? Um, they are so into that. They, yeah, in Tucson, absolutely. they sold them individually. Yeah, you'll find a lot of um, places, if you can find anybody that sells pearls like this, um, you, know, you look under sort of Baroque pearls, and a lot of the high-end pearl people, and I yeah. can think of a lot in my head, do sell them singularly. Um, but you talk about, you know, the, like the peacock pearls and metallic pearls and all this sort of thing. These have, as it's just been mentioned in the GIA write-up, they have this beautiful translucency on the surface which if you imagine an ethiopian opal mm. you know like a tinkerbell dust sprinkled on top of the pearl you can see all those colors of light really you know all the make up the rainbow in that sort of more of a muted shades but it's definitely a translucent sheen as opposed to a glitter <sighs> But I mean, they're they, some of the best pills I've seen, Linda. They've got, as as Elle just said, they have got. They have got absolutely everything that is necessary for a pearl to be incredibly in demand, and that. But you know, at the end of the day, for a pearl to have all those qualities and be this size, overtones, iridescent, that's what blows luster. me away. Yeah, they're unbelievable. I mean, I can't stop talking about them, as you can probably see. I can't stop looking at them. I can't stop touching them. When I opened the box last week, when they arrived, I <gasps> Gasp. We need to Seriously. open the graphics because so many of you've got this in your basket. 30 seconds. There are 52 of you with it in your basket. Good luck. And I've only got 90 available. Good Ross, luck. I'm so tempted to get these. You could use them as individual pendants, absolutely. But that look at that though. If you want to talk about heirloom jewellery, exactly, legacy jewellery, this, is, jewelry, this yeah. is it. This this is what's going to. I say this a lot, and I'm bored myself saying it. But these are what you're going to see in um, on the Antiques Roadshow, circa twenty odd years time. Wow. Um, as you know, all, my gran had these pearls. This, that, and the other, and um, also these are worthy of being auctioned at the likes of Christie's Bonhams, etc. Oh yeah, but they won't be anywhere near our prices, though. You know, I mean. So, so 
They um, really are. Linda, I just want to go back to that GIA because we spoke about high luster, which I think is probably one of the biggest understatements. It's just, what do we call them? Extreme luster? Something like that? Sunglasses. Put your sunglasses yeah. on luster. Um, so they say of the seven pearl value factors, because they talk about nacre and things like that then, luster might be the most important. It's not might in my eyes. It is the most important. Luster is what gives a natural culture pearl its, beauty, uh, its unique beauty. Excellent, right. Excellent is reflection appears bright and sharp. Very good is reflections appear bright and near sharp. I'm not even gonna bother with the others. These are excellent. These are the best luster of pearls I've ever seen. Look at that, they're like mirror-like. Mirror-like luster. They're insane. They're absolutely insanely beautiful, these. I mean, um... People might sort of think about buying pearls like this, that the wearability of them. Now, you need to look after your pearls. Of course. That's, I've said, it's the first thing you that take off and the last thing you put last on. Last thing on, first thing off. That's right, yeah. Um, you don't use on. hairsprays and things. But hang on a minute, we're wow. at two and a half thousand pounds. You try and find pearls of over 20 millimetres for, for anything less than that. 22 millimetres in their size. Plus you get these lovely, like teardrop sterling silvers, which are really weighty. And um, who's got six? Eileen, well done Eileen. They've got to be some of the biggest we've ever done. Yeah, they are. 22 they are. millimetres. And they're cherry picked as well. So don't forget how many um, host mollusks have to be open before you get, you know, a pearl. Right. Oh, I'd love to be. I'd love to be there and open the mollusk and see. We need to bring them. your price to air because otherwise these are going to sell out, jewelry makers. Let's do it. Nine nine nine. Not your price. Let's half it. You get your instructions as well. Ocean mm -hmm. waves. In thirty seconds, we're going to half that again. There. I've said it. I've said it. I've said it. I've said it. I've said it out loud. We are halving that price in literally 20 seconds. Angela, Suzanne, multi-buying, wow, how amazing, Suzanne. And it comes with a box, comes with all that sterling silver, which I'll weigh that as well, let you know the gram weight of these. They have to be the biggest pearls that we've ever done. Yeah, I agree, the box in itself should be 50, 50 60 pounds. Um, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. These will sell out. We've got 90 available jewelry makers, plus you've got your five-way split pay too. Phone lines have gone crazy. Uh, Oxfordshire, Helen, Eileen, Northamptonshire, Tracy, Celia, Dorset, Nottinghamshire, Cumbria, Dale, you've done it as well. They are mirror-like luster with a blue overtone, but you've also got the iridescent colours as well. On the strand, sorry, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Wow. 18, 22 millimetre pearls. They've also got a gilded luster on the top as well, haven't they? Look on that VT there. There's a metallic gold coming through as well. Oh my goodness. Give it. 14 pounds per pearl. What are you doing? One more price crash. With your five way split pay, we're going even lower jewelry makers. The largest pearls historically here at Jewelry Maker, look at them, they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, those earrings would be fortunes elsewhere. Do you know, I'm so glad that we have waited on, on, on pearls, really. And I mean, these were bought a little while ago and have, have just sorry. come to air. But, you know, when I first saw these, what was called then strange-shaped anom anomaly pearls, this is how they've matured since then. Um, again, um, with rather the pearls that we've had on earlier, the Chinese market are all over these pearls. Of course they are. All over these pearls. Look at those I mean, colours. The phone lines have gone crazy. What did you take it to? Under £200. That's £11 per 22 millimetre pearl. There is a two minute queue on the phone lines, jewellery makers. Um, I will keep you updated on the quantity of these folks. It comes with the box, comes with those beautiful like sort of keshis. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, okay, take it away, Linda. Okay, um, can I just sort of finish off very, very quickly what I was saying about don't be frightened of wearing pearls. Uh, last thing on, first thing off, and also pearls 
love to be worn. Yeah. You know, they, like the oils they, in the they, skin. Yeah, the natural oils in your skin, the warmth of the skin, just they enhance that. But pearls love that. Mm. I'm not saying they want to be immersed in water or anything like that. No, no. But just the gentle warmth wow. and the sort of skin secretions. It's like opal. They love being worn. So just take care of them and they'll last you several lifetimes. Okay. Right. Now, the piece of jewellery I've made here, this next I've, I've done here, is a variant on, um, you know, the, the little spaces in between. I've used some little seed pearls I got. Unfortunately, we're out of stock. But you can use any small gemstone um, that you have in your stock. And I'm sure if you go on the website, you'll find two or three mils. You get little faceted um little plain gemstones, whatever you like. I mean, tourmaline would look absolutely stunning, as would some agates, blue lace agate, Botswana's and that. So you can use anything at all. But as I say, I've got the little pearl, so I thought, why not? Because um, it's the technique I want to show. Now, this technique is actually called, I've researched and researched and found a name for it. It's called L'Oreal. Um, it's very much a variation on a theme. You know when I do the waterfall necklaces, which pop a gem on a head pin, halfway wrap loop, and then put into a link of chain and mm. let that drop like a bunch of grapes. Similar to that, but with a slight difference. So to start off, let's start at the very beginning. I'm using just some beading thread. This is the beading thread we had on air earlier. Um, simply because I haven't got any silks left at home. I've got no silks, the little silk cards with the mm. needle on, but please, by all means, uh, use that if you have it, have a look on the website again. Right, now, as Elle referred to earlier, I'm going to start off at the very beginning with the clasp, or not, with a jump, with a jump ring, I should say. So I'm just slipping on about an inch, two inches down the thread, my little crimp bead. And then I'm taking a jump ring and popping that on to my thread and then moving the jump ring away from the crimp bead turn your thread whichever thread you're using and just pass it through the exit of the main length of thread and then ease that up not on top of the jump ring this is where the wire guardians come in. So if you imagine that's a wire guardian instead of wire, the wire would be underneath it. And it's just a perfect way to thread pearls. And then just compress that crimp bead down. If you've got crimp bead pliers, then please use those. I can't find mine, I'm waiting for some to come into stock. And then just take off that little bit of excess, just taking care that you don't cut the main thread. Then I'll come back and cover that with a little crimp cover when I finished. Now, to start off the design, I got one of, now if you made whatever small bead that you have in your stash, but I start off, let's, I'll refer to these as the small pearls, but they can be your uh, beads in your stash, or have a look on the website and see if there's anything there that you think would work lovely. I'm sure there will be. And then follow that with a silver spacer bead. So I've got small pearl, silver spacer bead. Then I'm going to take my gorgeous Baroque pearls. And then I decided, you see, you get on the pearl, you get like this gorgeous drop side. This is erring on the side of a flame ball pearl, as they all are, mm -hmm. where the nacre is going to come up to like um, a candle flame. So I, every, every one of the Baroque pearls that I thread, I take it from the wide, rounded end and the pearls are by the nature of being a pearl very carefully drilled with quite a small hole if you meet any resistance then um, take a head pin and push the head pin through it's only be a little bit of pearl dust around the drill hole and then i slide that up to the spacer bead and then doing like a mirror image i'm now going to put on a spacer bead And then I'll follow that up with another pearl, just so that I've got, I've reversed 
the design that I started with, just so that I get the spacer beads either side. It's all part of, of a design process, that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, this is because this is up by the clasp, by um, obviously the back of the neck, I am now going to thread on another of my fantastic large pearls. And then, again, mirror image to what I've done previously, thread on you think I could find the hole easily in these wouldn't you thread on my let's see if it's easier to pick if you have got the silk thread it is so much easier having that needle on it um, or if you've got one of those big eyed needles have a look on the website we may have some left then use the big eyed needles on, on thread like tiger tail like this I'm going to get another one just in case that's a little bit mistreated inside. Oh, I thought I'd got it. There. there we go. Isn't it stupid? The simplest thing in the world. Live TV as well. You're, you well, are, I mean, in normal circumstances, you'd bring this to, you know, closer to your face. I would, but yeah, I wouldn't be holding my breath that. in normal circumstances like I am now. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, when you're threading on a bead that essentially is hollow inside, it is quite tricky because you just, your thread, look, see, it tends to um, want to settle on the inside rather than through the hole. I'm going to skip that bit now because I've, I've run out of patience with it. Oh, I think they're it. crimp covers. That's really? Why. There's some crimp covers in there. They're oh, is that? Oh my goodness, I must go and get my eyes done again. <laughs> oh, you're right, Elle. You're right. I put them in deliberately, but why I put them in the same little packet, I've got absolutely no idea. So let's hope that's a spacer bead followed by another little pearl or bead of your choice. And then take that up to that last pearl. And this is where we get on to. I'm going to put that to one side just for the moment, because just quickly going to show you a slight, a slight deviation on a wrap loop. I know I'm famous for my loops or infamous for my loops, but I've just worked out a slight. Um, Ooh, a new technique. Just a slight new technique uh, on doing a wrap loop. So I've threaded on one of my little pearls. This is going to cause. A little wave effect onto I've got a sterling silver head pin here naturally the sterling silver ones come a little bit finer but if you can't get the normal head pin through then um, please just swap to a featherweight head pin and what I'm going to do now because I, I need these pearls to be as matched on the uh, wrap loop as possible I'm going to just put a wrap loop has a little neck to twist down so if I put my flat nose pliers on the tip of the pearl there, just below the tip of the um, head pin, and then take my round nose pliers and turn 90 degrees away from me. Now I can remove my flat nose pliers. Now I've got a little neck here, so I can now just push that in very, very slightly, only about one mil into the barrels of the pliers, and then come back through 180 degrees take my pliers out and put them where they fit and then push down towards the pearl and then just ease that excess down the neck of the pearl, sorry, the neck of the head pin, which is four turns until the pearl literally sits on its little stopper and then remove my excess which I often tend to hit my husband. He says, you've got me again. So do be careful <laughs> the direction that your um, chopped off head pins go. Right, let's get back to business. So now I've got X amount. It's up to you how, you know, the order in which you put how many on. Um, but I wanted some left for earrings and a possible bracelet, which I didn't get to. Now this, this L'Oreal effect is simply now is threading on through the wrap loop, some I've made earlier, as you can see, I put 12, that one isn't one, I put on 12 of the wrapped loop for straight on to my um, thread. Six, bear with me, <laughs> seven, 
8, 9, 10. I put 12, but we'll stick at 10 so you don't have to go through. And then just let that ease that down. Mm, lovely. To um, your little pearl there. Yeah. And then the next thing to do is to pop on another pearl so that the little cluster of pearls. We're running out of time. Okay. And, uh, pass me your instructions because people do get this, don't yep, they? Yeah, they do. So you it's get as simple this as that. I mean, that's, as well. that's basically job done. It's repetition on a theme now. So um, you just go on repeating that until you've got the length that you want. In the centre, if you want to put like I've done either side of the centre pearl, put your little that. silver decorations. Um, the the kit's still just about available. Make sure you check out baskets and we'll see you in two. Thank you, Linda. We love you. <laughs>